Okay, shalom family, most and Christ bless you all, brothers and sisters online. Happy Zavon to you all. Okay. Um, okay, another edition. All right, all praise to the most, all praises. So last week, I'm going to continue with what, I, what we went over last week, House of the Dragon. So today, we're going to go over to part two of House of the Dragon. Because I finished the class. I didn't finish the class, but I cut the class short, if you will. So today, we're going to go over part two of that, House of the Dragon. All right. So I did say that we're going to pick up from 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. So let's go there. 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. Okay, come on. Let's read that. 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 7. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity. Actually, hold. you know what? Hold that. I'm coming back. Give me John 8, 32. John 8, verse 32. Okay. John chapter 8, verse 32. Let's read that. Okay, read that. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth. And you shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. So the Lord is telling us that we shall know the truth. So what we went over last week is the truth that has been hidden from you for all these years. You understand? In the lands of our captivities by our enemies that hate and despise us. Okay. Read again. Verse 32. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth. So the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, says, we shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make us free. So God's law is going to make us free. So all the things that have been hidden from you, they will be revealed on this day. Understand that in the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the laws of God will bring all things to your remembrance. Give me John 14, verse 26. John chapter 14, verse 26. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Read. But the comforter. But the what? But the comforter. But the comforter. Come on. Which is the Holy Ghost. The comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of Christ. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. Whom the Father, the Most High God, will send in the, name, in the name of our Lord and Savior. Come on. He shall teach you all things. He will what? He shall teach you all things. The Spirit of the Lord will teach us all things. Come on. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to our remembrance. Because in captivity, the white man will oppress us so bad that we'll forget everything about who we are. We'll forget everything where we come from, where we are, who our God is. We'll think he's God because he's making himself a God on this earth. Okay? Read again. He shall what? He shall teach you all things. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord will teach us all things. Come on. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to our remembrance. Read. Whatsoever I have said unto you. You see, whatsoever the Lord said unto us. The things that the Holy Ghost will bring to our remembrance is what? Who we are. Where we come from. Who our God is. What have we forgotten? What is our purpose upon this earth? Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Watch this. Read it. Our purpose upon the Holy Ghost will bring, un will bring unto our remembrance all things. You understand? The things that we forgot. What is our purpose upon this, uh, upon this earth? Read what you got. Come on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 18. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So the Holy Ghost will bring to your remembrance the conclusion of the whole matter. Go ahead. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear God. Come on. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. That's your purpose upon this earth. The Holy Ghost will bring all things to our remembrance. Why? It's going to remember it's going to bring to our remembrance that we must keep God's commandments. That's our whole purpose upon this earth. To keep God's laws. Read again. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 18. Come on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Come on. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Come on. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man upon earth. Go back to John 14, 26. Okay. I'm giving an example of what the Holy Ghost will bring back to our remembrance. Okay. Read it. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Read. But the Comforter, uh -huh. which is the Holy Ghost. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. Whom the Lord will send in, in Christ's name. Read. He shall teach you all things. Uh -huh. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to our remembrance. Read. Whatsoever I have said unto you. You see that? Go back to John 8, 32 now. He says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. 
because we are in captivity and we are not free. We are still in slaves. We are still slaves. We are still in captivity. Okay? We have not been delivered yet. We are not saved yet. We are still in the hands of our enemies. Read that. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. Read. And ye shall know the truth. And we shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. The truth will set us free. The laws of God will set us free. Will deliver us spiritually first before the Lord returns to deliver us physically. Okay? Luke 168. Because we're in captivity. You understand? We're still serving hard bondage in the lands of our captivity because of our sins. And the nations are taking advantage of that. They are making our affliction even more. They help for the affliction. Read it. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Come on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. This is an example that the Lord has visited us and redeemed his people. Spiritually also. The Lord is redeeming us spiritually right now. Go ahead. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us. That horn of salvation is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our leader, our king. Read. In the house of his servant David. Go ahead. Because he's come through the loins of David. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. The mouth of his holy prophets of old and the prophets in these last days. Go ahead. Which have been since the world began. Come on. That we should be saved from our enemies. You see that? That we should be what? That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Come on. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. You see, that's the gospel. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's the gospel. Because we are in the hands of our enemies right now. We are in captivity. The nations have us in bondage. Give me the book of Zacharias, okay? Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. I'm going to show you that the nations, they help forward our affliction. They make it worse. You understand? We're already in a worse situation. So they, guess what they are doing? They are making it worse. Read what you got. Come on. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 15. Read it. The book of Zechariah chapter 1 verse 15. Read. I am very so displeased with the heathens. The Lord says he's so displeased with the heathens. Come on. The heathens, hold this. Give me that in a, give me, um, what verse is that? Give me Nehemiah 5 and 9. Watch this. It says he's so displeased with the heathens. Let's see who the heathens are, okay? Remember, brothers, we still, brothers and sisters online, shalom to you again. We're going over the house of the dragon part two. So don't forget, read it. Nehemiah 5 and 9. The book of Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. We're going here to find out who the heathens are. Come on. Also, I say, mm -hmm. it is not good that he do. Read or do you not to walk in the fear of our God? Or do you not to walk in the fear of our God, the God of Israel, right? Because of the reproach of the heathen. Because of the what? Because of the reproach of the heathen. Because of the reproach of the heathen. Come on. Our enemies. Our what? Our enemies. Our what? Our enemies. So the heathens are our enemies. Okay. So go back to Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. Watch this. Because they are our enemies, these heathens, they help forward our afflictions. That's what our forefather Zacharias is saying here. Really? The book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. Come on. I am very so displeased with the heathen that I at ease. That the heathens that are what? That are at ease. The heathens that are at ease. Because the heathens are at ease. You understand? They are happy that we are in captivity. They are happy that we are at the bottom of all nations. Read. For I was but a little displeased. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And they helped forward their affliction. You see what? The Lord says he was but a little bit displeased. But guess what? Now he's more displeased because they did what? And they helped forward their affliction. Because they helped forward our affliction. They're making it worse. That's why the, what they said. They put drugs in our community. Black men don't make no drugs. You understand? They put um, bottle stores in every corner. You don't find a library. They put recreational places for people to play sports and all that. But you don't find no library. You understand that? Our teachers don't teach history anymore. History was taken out of the schools. So our people, our sons and daughters don't know who they are, what happened to them. And you understand? And what, what, why we are in the conditions that we're in. Because history was always what? Was always a good reference for us to know what our enemies did when they came over here. You understand? Who Christopher Columbus, who Vasco da Gama, Bartholomew Diaz, and so on and so forth. You understand? Jan van Riebeck. But now they took it out of the schools. So we don't know what they've done to us. We think these are our friends. These are not our friends. These are our enemies, the Lord says. Read again. The book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. Come on. And I am very dis dis so displeased with the heathen that I at ease. The heathens are at ease. Go ahead. For I was but a little displeased. Read. 
and they helped forward their affliction. They helped forward their affliction. That's what we're reading. Go back to Luke now. Luke chapter 1, verse 71. The book of Luke chapter 1, verse 71. Come on. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies because what? We are surrounded by our enemies. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of the, our enemies that hate us. So these, these, these heathens, the Lord says, these are our enemies. And they what? And from the hand of all that what? And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all our enemies that hate us. The Dutch, the French, the Portuguese, the Americans, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Arabs, they hate and despise our gods. They cannot stand us. That's why we must come together. That's why the Lord says, gather yourself together. Get that in Zephaniah, chapter 2 and 1. The Lord commanded us that we must gather ourselves together in these last days because we are a nation that is not desired. The no nation desire us, only the Lord of heaven and earth. He desires us. Read that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. He says, gather yourselves together. That's what we're doing right now. We're gathering ourselves together. And when we gather ourselves together, we don't gather ourselves together under politics. We don't gather ourselves together under Christianity, religion, under democracy. We don't gather ourselves under none of that demonic stuff. That's not ours. That's not our culture. That's, that's man-made philosophy to divide us and to keep us at the bottom. That's why. Read again. He says we must what? Gather yourselves together. He says what? Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. As a not, keep, keep reading. Keep reading on that. Let me not butcher it. Read again. Let me not interrupt you. Read the verse again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. We must what? Gather yourselves together. We must gather ourselves together. Go ahead. Yay. Gather together. Uh, you must what? Yay. Gather together. He says, gather together. Go ahead. O nation not desired. O nation not desired. Because we are a nation that does not desire. I want you black people to understand. Black people online, we are a nation that's not desired. No nation desire us. Stop wanting to make yourself to be liked by the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man. They don't like, they hate your guts. That's what the Bible is saying. We are a nation that's not desired. Okay? We must gather together. We don't gonna gather together under politics or religion or democracy. Hold that. Give me Baruch 4, verse 37. This is how we gather ourselves together. You understand? So don't gather yourself together in the Jehovah's Witnesses Church. In the Jehovah's Wickedness, no. Do not gather yourself together under ZCC. Do not gather yourself together under Vazalwani. Do not gather yourself together under the seven-day disadvantage. Don't gather yourself together under none of that stuff. Because it's not of the Lord, it's of Satan. Read it. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 37. Go ahead. Lo, thy sons come. Thy sons come. We are the sons that have now returned, and our daughters too, our wives. Go ahead. Whom thou sentest away. Because the Lord sent us away into captivity because of our sins. Read. They come gathered together. We come gathered together as a nation, sons and daughters. Read. From the east to the west. From the eastern hemisphere to the western hemisphere. Read. By the word of the Holy One. No, no, no. By politics. By the word of the Holy One. By Christianity. By the word of the Holy One. By democracy. By the word of the Holy One. By EFF and ANC. By the word of the Holy One. By the word of the Holy One. We only gather to ourselves. We only are commanded to gather ourselves together by the word of the Holy One. God's laws. Read. Rejoicing in the glory of God. That's how we're going to rejoice in the glory of God. You're not going to rejoice in the glory of God under politics. You're not going to rejoice in the glory of God under Christianity. Because Christianity has nothing to do with the Most High God, but everything to do with Satan and the children of Satan upon this earth, the white race. Read again verse 37. Come on. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 37. Read. Lo, thy sons come, uh -huh. whom thou sentest away. Read. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One. Rejoicing in the glory of God. Rejoicing in the glory of God. That's what we're doing right now. Today is the glorious day of the Sabbath, the Sabbath day. The glorious day of the Lord. We're rejoicing because we remember and we think ourselves. That's why we're observing this glorious day. As a sign of our faith for the true rest that's coming when the Lord returns. Go back to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 verse 1. The Most High God has commanded us we must gather ourselves together. Because we are a nation that is hated. We are despised by these other nations. Us as a people, as a nation, as a race, guess what? We have forgotten who our enemies are and what they've done to us. You understand? Read that. Zephaniah 2 and 1. 
the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. We are commanded to gather ourselves together by the word of the Holy One. Read. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. We are a nation that's not desired. We are not liked by no nation on this earth. Read. Before the decree bring forth. Before the Lord returns, gather yourself together. Wherever we scatter, whether it's in China, whether it's in the Americas, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in Japan, whether it's in India, whether it's in Saudi Arabia, whether in South Africa, we must gather ourselves together. Go ahead. Before the day pass as the child. Uh -huh. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon us before the Lord returns and bring forth judgment upon this earth. When Moses, God is commanding us, gather yourself together. We must gather ourselves together. To hell with politics. It does, it does not nothing for us. You understand? That's why the Lord says, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send the apostles last. Give me that in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 9. I think that's what I want. Okay? No, no, no. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 9. Not 2 First Corinthians. That's why the Lord is saying, he allowed the politics to come in. He allowed this black consciousness movement to come in. But guess what? He reserved his apostles last. You understand? To bring the truth. The real truth that matters to deliver our people from captivity. Read what you got. First Corinthians 4 verse 9. Watch this. First book of Corinthians chapter 4 verse 9. Read. For I think that God has set forth as the apostles last. The Lord has set forth as the apostles last. You understand? That's why we are now coming in this in the last hour. You understand? To bring the truth to our people because what? The Lord is about to return. Understand that? Read. As it were appointed to death. As it were appointed to death. Watch this. For we are made a spectacle, a spectacle unto the world. We are made a spectacle unto the world. Because the people, they see us. You understand? And they know what we teach. But many of people are afraid because they've been traumatized by the system of apartheid. Our people are living with trauma every single day. Men, women, and child, grandmothers and grandfathers, we're still traumatized by apartheid. We're still traumatized by colonization. We're still traumatized by slavery. You understand? We still are traumatized in these corporates by these nations that are giving us jobs. Understand that? We're still living in trauma, but the Lord says, don't worry, I got you. I've got something for you that the nations have not thought of. The Lord, what? He prepared the, the, the Bible for us. You understand? He raised a prophecy in the last days to wake us up. So we may remember who we are. Read again. First book of Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 9. Read. For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles last. The Lord has set forth us, the apostles last. Read. As it were, appointed to death. Read. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. We are made a spectacle unto the world. Read. And to angels. And to angels means talk about what? Men on earth. Come on. And to men. And to men. Read. We are fools for Christ's sake. Because when we go out there and teach, our people say we are fools. They say stagiwe, what we teach. They say we're crazy. Read. But ye are wise in Christ. But we are wise in Christ because we keep God's commandments. Read on. We are weak, but ye are strong. You see that? We are, they says we are weak, but we are strong in the Lord. We are strong in the Lord. That's why, give me that in Sarah 24, 24. Because the Lord commanded us that we must not what? We must not faint to be strong in the Lord. Read that. Sarah 24, 24. Come on. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 24, verse 24. Read. Faint not to be strong in the Lord. He says, faint not to be what? To be strong in the Lord. Don't faint to be strong in the Lord. Faint not to be strong in the Lord. Go ahead. That he may confirm you. That he may what? That he may confirm That the Lord may confirm us into in this truth. Go ahead. Cleave unto him. We must cleave unto the Lord no matter what. Come on. For the Lord Almighty is God alone. You see that? For the Lord Almighty is God alone. He is our Lord and Savior. Read. And beside him there is no other Savior. Because Christianity is not going to save you. Politics is not going to save you. Malema is not going to save you. Sir Ramaphosa, Tumamina is not going to save you. You understand? What's the other brother who started a new party now? Bossa, right? What's his name? Musi Maimani. That one. Yes, he's not going to deliver you, okay? They talk a big game, but they're not doing anything that is going to be significant to deliver our people from slavery. Why? Because they want what? Because in their political arena, they are still pushing Christianity. They are still pushing Christianity. ANC is a Christian organization. They worship white Jesus. They worship the white man because they say everybody, you understand? They are about everybody. The EFF also, they are about everybody, every race and all of that. The most said God is not about every race. 
The Most High God is about the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the race the Lord is concerned with. That's the race the Lord is going to deliver from captivity because we the poor. Read on. He filleth all things with his wisdom. You see that the Lord filleth all things with his wisdom. Okay, go back to where he was at now. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Read verse 10 again. Okay, watch this. First book of Corinthians chapter 4 verse 10. Read. We are fools for Christ's sake. We are fools for Christ's sake because people think we're crazy. They think we're dumb by what we're doing. Why you brother, you brothers be reading this Bible all day? Yes, we're going to read it all day. Because why? It pleased the Lord for the, by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Read on. But ye are wise in Christ. But we are wise in Christ because now we keep the commandments. We're repenting. Go ahead. We are weak. But ye are strong. Ray, in Christ, in the Lord. Read. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. You see that thing? We are despised because the nations, they hate our guts. Including our own people that are what? That support the nations that are oppressing us. Read. Even unto this present hour. Unto this present hour, 2023 so-called. Guess what? What's going on into the, unto this present hour? From the time of the apostles unto this day. What's going on? We both hunger. We both hunger because whenever anything we need, that the food that we need, everything we need to eat, guess where we go? We go to our enemies for that. Read. And thirst. And thirst. Whenever we want to drink, we go to our enemies for that. Read. And are naked. And we are naked. We want anything to put clothes on our backs, we must go to our enemies for that. Read. And are buffeted. And we are buffeted by these other nations, including our people as well. Read. And have no certain dwelling place. We have no certain dwelling place because we are not in the we are not in our homeland. We are in the lands of our captivity. You understand? We are pilgrims. Understand that? Read. And labor. And we labor. We labor for these nations and they give us nothing. We're still at the bottom. That's why they kill our forefathers and foremothers in Marikana in 2012. At the command of Tumamina. Read. Working with our hands. Uh-huh. Being reviled. Being reviled. We are being reviled by these nations, including our own people as well. Go ahead. We bless. Uh -huh. Being persecuted. We bless our people with the laws of God. We teach our people God's commandments. And guess what? And what happens? We suffer it. We suffer it. Because guess what? We go to the streets. We teach them. They put guns on us. They empty magazines on us. Hmm? They want to set us on fire. That's what they do. But still, we still bless them with the Lord of, with the laws of God. Why? Because we are our brother's keepers. You understand? We are brother's keepers. We go out there to teach the people we don't even know. Because those are the sons and daughters of Jacob. Even when they hate our gods, the Lord says, go out there and teach them anyway. Read on. We suffer it. We suffer it. Read. Being defamed. Being defamed because they say what? They say we are a hate group. They say we teach hate. They, you understand? That's what they do. We say Jesus is a black man. They say we are anti-Semitic. That's what they do. They speak evil of us, even when we're what? Even when we are at peace with them. But they still speak evil of us. They help forward our affliction. That's what they do. Go ahead. Being defamed, we entreat. Being, in, being defamed, we entreat. Meaning what? We continue to teach God's laws. Go ahead. We are made as the filth of the world. We see that we are made as the filth of the world. Because now we are like the offscoring of the earth. Hold that. Give me that in Lamentations 3.45. You understand? He says, we are now, we are, we are looked at as the filth of the earth. Why? Because we are the bottom of all nations too. On top of that. Read that in Lamentations 3, 45. The book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 45. Watch this, come on. Thou hast made us as the offscoring. You see that? The Lord has made us an offscoring, meaning refuge. You understand? Refuse. Filth of the earth. Read. And, and refuse. In the midst of the people. You see that? And refuse in the midst of the people. Now our status we've been reduced is like we garbage. But guess what? God says we are special people unto him. Understand that? We are gold. We are the sons of God back on this earth. Understand that? So go back to where he was at now. First Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 18 again. First book of Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. Go ahead. Being defamed. Being defamed. We are defamed by these nations. Read. Right? We entreat. We entreat. We still teach the laws of God to our people. Go ahead. We are made as the filth of the world. We are made as the filth and offscoring of the world. Go ahead. 
and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. You see that we are the offscoring of all things unto this very day. The people still despise us. But guess what? The Lord, he loves us. You understand? The Lord loves us. The Lord favors us. Understand, we are the apple of God's eye. Understand that thing. Give me that in um, Deuteronomy chapter 1. Okay. Is that what I want? Deuteronomy chapter 1. Let me look at it. No, Deuteronomy 32. I think that's what I want. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Yep. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Read verse 8. Watch this. Because what we need to understand is this. The most, we are the most high God. We are the most high God's favorite. Of all the nations that he made upon this earth, he favors us and none else. Understand that. Deuteronomy 32 verse 8. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8. Even though the nations despise us. Even though the nations, they treat us like the offscoring, the scum, the filth, the refuse of the world. But this is what God says about us. Watch, watch, watch what he says here. Read. When the Most High divided to the nation their inheritance. When the Most High divided to the nations that he created upon the earth their inheritance, what did he do? When he separated the sons of Adam. The sons of Adam, we are the sons of Adam. I need you men and women to understand that we are the sons of Adam. Okay? We are the sons of God. Read. He set the bounds of the people. He set the boundaries of the people. Come on. According to the number of the children of Israel. According to the number of the children of Israel. Meaning what? The other nations, what they got is the, the what, 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 what's left. You understand? The Moses gave us the best land. Whatever is left, he gave it to the rest of the nations. You understand? He gave them what's left. The insignificant part of the land. The insignificant part of the inheritance. He, he left them with whatever is left. But the best part he gave to us first and foremost. Read that again. Verse 8. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 8. Read. When the Mosai divided to the nation their inheritance. Read. When he separated the sons of Adam. When he separated the sons of Adam. The sons of Adam, during the time of Genesis, before the flood, that's what we were called. After the flood, we became to be, we became to be called the children of Israel. But we are the sons of God, the sons of Adam. Read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Read. For the Lord's portion is his people. You see that? The Lord's portion is his people. Who's God's people? The Israelites. The sons of God. Read. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. You see that? Jacob is the lot of the Moses like God's inheritance. He favors us. Read on. He found him in a desert land. He found us in a desert land because we were in the wilderness when we came out of Egypt. Read. And in the waste howling wilderness. Read. He led him about. Mm -hmm. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. He did what? He kept him as the apple of his eye. So we are the apple of God's eye. So anybody that touches us, they touching the apple of God's eye. You understand that? They touching the most of God's eye. They are irritating his eye. When somebody irritates your eye, you get irritated, you do something. Guess what? The most how does he do something? He sent bombs upon this earth via the angels. He sent tsunamis upon this earth to destroy this nation that destroys us. That hate us, that enslaved us, that are exploiting us, that are putting drugs in our community, that are creating diseases out of the labs to destroy us. Because what? We are the apple of God's eye. We need to understand that thing. Read verse 10 again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 10. Read. He found him in a desert land. Read. And in the waste howling wilderness, he led him about, he instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. We are the apple of God's eye. We are God's favorite. We are his heir. He loves us and none else. We need to understand that thing. You understand? And that's what's going to build our faith. That's what's going to build our confidence. Because as a people, we have low self-esteem. Why? Because we don't know how great we are. We don't know who our God is. You understand? We don't know what our inheritance is upon this earth. Our inheritance is all these nations on earth. Give me the book of Psalms chapter 1. Watch this. I need you men and women to understand this thing. We are the most like God's favorite. Okay? The most like he loves us according to the covenant he made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against him. Give me that in Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Watch this. The book of Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Read. Why do the heathen rage? The heathen rage. How do the heathen rage? 
They said they put drugs in our community. You understand? Every corner there's a bottle store. You understand that? That's why they do redlining. We are in the com we are in the ghettos. We are packed like rats. You understand? They've taken 87% of the land mass here in South Africa, and we've been given 13% of the land. 13% of the land is supposed to be occupied by more than 30 million people. 13% of the land is occupied by more than 30 million people. 30 million so-called Bantus in Bantu stands. Because Bantu stands today, they call them Dikasi, Ekasi, Elokshin. That's the Bantu stands. 87% is owned by 4% of the Caucasian race that's up, that's down here. Understand that? So, that's what we read. That's an example of the heathen raging. Read again this one. The book of Psalm, chapter 2, verse 1. Come on. Why do the heathen rage? Uh -huh. And the people imagine a vain thing. Because our people, they imagine vain things because they work hand in hand with the heathens. Get that in Acts 4.25. Let's see what, the, 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 what King David is explaining here. Okay, he's been explaining the book of Acts. Read what you got. Acts chapter 4, verse 25. Read that. The book of Acts chapter 4, verse 25. Read. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Uh huh. Why did the heathen rage? Why did the heathen? The heathen is the other nations, our enemies. Read. And the people imagine vain things. And the people imagine vain things. The people that imagine vain things is our people, Israelites. You understand? That's your politicians, that's your pastors, that's your government officials. You understand? Read. The kings of the earth stood up. The kings of the earth is these nations that have oppressed us, they've enslaved us, they changed our names, and they sold us into captivity. Read. And the rulers were gathered together against the Lord. The rulers, meaning the rulers of the earth, they've gathered themselves against the Lord. Read. And against this Christ. Against Christ, our Lord and Savior. Read on. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus. You see that? They stood against Christ and they stood against us. That's why we are in captivity right now. Okay? Go back to Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Read it. Come on, come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. Read. Why do the heathen rage? Why do the heathen rage? Come on. And the people imagine a vain thing. The people that imagine vain things is our people that side with the nations. Go ahead. The kings of the earth set themselves. The kings of the earth, they set themselves against us. Go ahead. And the rulers take counsel together. The rulers of this earth, they take counsel together. That's why the United Nations was formed. That's why the League of Nations was formed, which is the same thing. It's all the same thing. They take counsel together against us to destroy us, to cut our name that nobody remembers who we are. Neither, so that we also don't remember who we are. Go ahead. Against the Lord uh -huh. and against his anointed saint. Read. Let us break their bands asunder. You see that? Let us break their bands asunder. Meaning what? Let us break the brotherhood. Let us break the 12 tribes of Israel. Let us divide and conquer them. That's why in South Africa we've got Bantu stands. They divided us. They conquered us. Now we see each other as enemies while they sit on the side and laughing at us. But with the Lord has mercy upon us. He's woken us up now. We are awake now. There's no more going back to sleep. Go ahead. And cast away their cause from us. You see that? And cast away our cause from us. Meaning what? They don't want us to unite, as Zephaniah says. Read. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The most High God sitting in the heaven is laughing right now. Because of the plots and the scams, the schemes, the behind closed doors, secret meetings to destroy us. He says, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. Read. The Lord shall have them in derision. The Lord is going to have them in craziness. Running around chasing their own tails while Israel is waking up. It doesn't matter what they do. The mission is a go. This what we're reading here, it's already written. It will come to pass. It doesn't matter what the white man does. It doesn't matter what America does. It doesn't matter what Europe does. It doesn't matter what the Tutsis are doing here on the continent. It's not going to change what's written. We are the sons of God. We are going to get delivered and the nations are all going into captivity. Read. Then shall he, shall he speak unto them in his wrath. The Lord is going to speak. He's going to plead with his nation in his wrath. He's going to plead with them by fire. Go ahead. And vex them in his sore displeasure. By fire. Read on. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Christ. Have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. That's the Messiah, our king. Go ahead. 
I will declare the decree. The decree is the promise that he, he gave unto our forefather Abraham. Read. The Lord has said unto me, mm -hmm. Thou art my son. Go ahead. This day have I begotten thee. You see that this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Go ahead. Ask of me, mm -hmm. and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. You see what our inheritance is? The heathens upon this earth, they are our inheritance. We're going to inherit them as slaves, and they're going to work, work in our kingdom to build our empires wherever we, are, wherever we are going to be ruling over, which is the whole planet Earth. You understand? Read again. The book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. Read. Ask of me, mm -hmm. and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. He said, the Lord said, this is what we must ask. Ask what you want. We want the heathen for the, as an inheritance. That's what we want. What are we saying? We want the kingdom. That's what we say. Read. And the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. You see, and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession, meaning the whole planet earth is ours. Read. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. The Lord is going to break these nations with the rod of iron. We also, we're going to do the same thing as hunters. Right now we're fishermen. We're fishing men, the spirits of men. But on this day, we're going to be hunting men. Read. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. The Lord is going to destroy these nations. They are all going into captivity. Go ahead. Be wise now, therefore, O ye king. Because he is the king of kings. With the kings. Go ahead. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. We see, we are the judges of the earth. Understand that? We are the judges of the earth. So that's why now we must keep God's commandments so we can judge the matters righteously. We can obey and apply what is written so the Lord can have mercy upon us. We need to understand that thing because that's what we have left. That's, what, that's the advantage we have over all these nations. We keep the commandments, we live forever, we rule forever, and we have the heathens as an inheritance unto us. That's what the Lord is saying. That's what the Lord has promised unto the sons and daughters of Jacob. Understand that. So we must believe that because we are the sons of God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. The reason why we don't believe some of the things that are coming out, I know brothers and sisters online, they don't believe what's coming out. Why? Because you've been made to believe that you are nothing upon this earth. You've been made to believe that you are the offscoring of this earth, but you are the sons and daughters of Jacob. Understand that. Okay, read what you got. Come on. Chapter of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You are an holy people unto the Lord your God. We are a holy people unto the Lord our God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord our God has done what? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord our God has chosen us. Come on. To be a special people unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people. Above all people. Come on. That are upon the face of the earth. There is no equality. We are the apple of God's eye. The most High God has chosen us to rule all nations on earth and teach them God's laws. And you understand? We're going to force the laws of God down their throat. Understand that? And if they resist, we want them to resist. So that we can beat them to a pulp and say, stop resisting. Read the Bible again, verse 6. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are a holy people unto the Lord our God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. We are a special people unto the most High God of heaven and earth. Read. Above all people. Above all people, come on. That are upon the face of the earth. We are not equal to no nations on this earth. So when we are doing saying we want equality, we want equal rights and all of that. Listen, we are above all nations on earth. There is no equality in the Bible. There is no equality in the kingdom. There's the ruling class and there's the saving class. And we are the ruling class. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but guess what? Israel is coming back. That's why the nations are afraid. That's why the nations are afraid right now. Right now, the nations are fearful of Israel waking up. Understand that. Okay? Now, let me go into the topic now. Go back to 2 Thessalonians now. 2 verse 7. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 7. Okay? Second book of Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7. Read. Really? For the mystery of iniquity does already work. The mystery of iniquity is already at work. The mystery of iniquity, jump up to the verse before it. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. And now you know what we withhold it, that he might be revealed in his time. That he might be revealed in his time. Meaning, he's going to be revealed in his time of rulership. 
That's what the Apostle Paul is saying. Who is he talking about? He's talking about the man of sin. Jump back up. Read verse 3. Because remember, we went over last week. We went we were going over. We're still going over the house of the dragon. This is part 2. I was showing you in the scriptures. This white man has different names in the Bible. He's called the dragon. He's called the man of sin. He's called the son of petition. He's called the wicked. He's called Lucifer. He's called the king of Babylon. You understand? He's called the serpent. That's what he's called in the Bible. He's got many names in the scriptures. He's called Mount Seir. He's called Esau, Edom, Idumia. He's got many names in the Bible. You understand? Now read verse 3 again. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 3. Go ahead. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you by any means. Which man is this? He talk about the man of sin, the white man, the dragon. Read. For that day shall not come. Except they come and falling away first. That day is talking about the day of Christ because during this time the apostle Paul was telling them, say, listen, the day of Christ is not gonna come except they come and falling away first. Go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed. That the man of sin and that man of sin be revealed. So the man of sin is the man that the apostle Paul is warning us that let not men, let no man deceive you, because he's the one that's deceiving us. He's the one that is deceived the whole planet Earth. Read the son of perdition, the son of hell, the son of hell and death upon this earth. Read who opposes mm -hmm. and exalted himself above all that is called God. Because this white man he opposes and exalts, he opposes what the Bible says and he exalts himself above everything that's written in this Bible. Read or that is worshipped because he wants to be worshipped and he is worshipped. You go to the Christian church. What, our black people in the Christian church they bow down to the white man. Even Chinese, they are they are Christians now. Some of them. You've got Arabs that are now Christians. Some of them. You understand? They bow down to the white man. Don't let them fool you. They still worship him too. You understand? Go ahead. So that he is God. That he is what? So that he is God. Because the whole world believe that he is God. Go ahead. Seated in the temple of God. He sits in the temple of God. Come on. Showing himself that he is God. He is showing himself that he is God. How? Because he puts up his images up in the churches. That's what he does. He puts his images up for men and women, especially our people to worship. Okay? Read that, read that verse again. Come on. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 4. Read. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, uh -huh. or that is worship. Or that is worship. Come on. So that he as God. That he as what? So that he as God. So that he as God does what? Seated in the temple of God. Seated in the temple of God. Read on. Showing himself that he is God. He shows himself that he is God because he wants to be worshipped. Okay? And guess what? He is being worshipped when you go to the churches. You go to the Christian church, the white man is being worshipped. You go to politics, the white man is being worshipped. They speak against him, but they worship, him on, they worship him on Sunday. Don't get it twisted. They speak against him in the church, in politics, in, let's say, hey, apartheid and all that. But on Sunday, they go and worship the same white man in the church on Sunday. What is that called? That's called Stockholm Syndrome. You understand? It shows you the mind that is destroyed. That's what he's talking about right there. Okay? Now jump down to verse... Seven now. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 7. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity. You see what he's called also? He's called the mystery of iniquity. The white man is called the mystery. That's another of his name. He's called the mystery of iniquity. Go ahead. Doth already work. Because he's already in rulership. During the time of the apostle Paul, the, the mystery of iniquity was already in rulership. Who was ruling during the time of the apostle Paul? Rome was ruling. You understand? So he is the mystery of iniquity that already worked, meaning he's already in rulership. Give me Daniel 7.23. He is already in rulership. He's ruling right now. Daniel 7 verse 23. Watch this. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 23. Go ahead. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. You see that? The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. The fourth kingdom or the fourth beast was Rome. And guess what? 
Rome is still ruling right now because America is an extension of ancient Rome. Understand that. The same people that was ruling during the time of Rome is the same people that are ruling today. They just, they just don't call themselves Romans. They call themselves Americans. They call themselves uh, British. They call themselves Germans. They call themselves Afrikaners. They call themselves um, um, what Dutchmen. That's what they call themselves. The Spaniards. You understand? The French. The Portuguese. But it's the same race of people. Okay? Go ahead. Which shall be diverse from all kingdoms. They will be diverse from all the kingdoms that rose up before them. Go ahead. And shall devour the whole earth. They shall what? And shall devour the whole earth. Because the white men, they are ruling the whole planet earth. Read. And shall tread it down and break it in pieces. You see that? They are the ones that are destroying the earth. You see diseases upon earth is them. You see poverty upon earth. You see famine, food shortages. They are responsible for that. You see all these pestilences and plagues, they are responsible for that thing. You see the destruction of nations, you see nations, black nations, dark nations, impoverished, is because of them. They are responsible for all that. Understand that. Okay, go back. Second Thessalonians, chapter 2. Read verse 7 again. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 7. Read. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. You see that? The fourth beast, the fourth kingdom is ruling already. Read. Only he who now letteth. Only he. The he is the most high. When he says letteth, meaning is allowing him, is giving him time to rule. Only him that letteth. Go ahead. Only he who now letteth will let. Only he who now letteth, let him rule. Go ahead. Until he be taken out of the way. Until he's destroyed in one hour. Wiped out. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Because he is the wicked. It's in written in capital letter there. And then shall that wicked be what? And then shall that wicked be revealed. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Because who's going to reveal the wicked? The prophets. We want to teach that the white man is the devil. That the white man is the biblical devil. He is Lucifer. He is the red dragon. You understand? He is the serpent that beguiled our foremother Eve in the garden. Okay? He is the one that is deceiving the whole world. Making the world believe that he is God. Read. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. With the Bible. Because how is the Lord consuming this white man with the spirit of his mouth right now? By bringing the prophets out to the street corners to teach the Bible. To teach our people to reveal who the evil, the devil is upon earth. That's our job as the 12 tribes of Israel. The men, the soldiers of Christ. We go out, we teach the people God's commandments on how to repent. You understand? We bring the people into the vineyard to come and learn. That's the job, brothers. That is the job. Okay? Read that again. No, no, keep reading. Keep reading. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The Lord who is going to destroy this man with the brightness of his coming. With what? With angels. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the waking of Satan. You see that? Even he whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Because this man worships the devil. In the house of the dragon, they worship Satan. Read. With all power. With all what? With all power. With all power. The power to bring war upon this earth. Read. And science. And science goes into what? His scientific advancements. Okay. Read. And lying wonders. And lying wonders. Goes into what? Religion. The Christian church. Why Jesus? That's what he's talking about. Read again verse 9. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter, chapter 2, verse 9. Read. Even him who is coming is after the waking of Satan. After the waking of Satan, come on. With all power. With all what? With all power. The power to make war upon this earth. Read. And sign. And sign. That goes into what? His witchcraft that is called scientific advancements. Okay, go ahead. And lying wonders. And lying wonders. Deception. That goes into what? Christianity, religion, and politics. Okay, is that it on that? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, now give me Jeremiah 28 verse 8. Okay, because Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah said the same thing here. Okay, he <coughs> said the same thing. Read. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me, the prophets that have been before me 
and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. You see that is that the prophets of old, they all the job of the prophet is to prophesy against many countries. That's the job of the prophet. The prophet's job is not to come and give people nice words. Mm -mm. The job of the prophet is to prophesy against many countries. Because these many countries, what do they have in captivity? They have our sons and daughters. Give me that in Deuteronomy 4.27. These nations, these countries, they have our sons and daughters in captivity. Which is where we are now, in South Africa. Under the Buddhas, the Dutch. The Buddhas, which is the Dutch and the British and the Hamites. Okay, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 27. Read. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. You see that? The Lord will scatter us among the nations, among all countries on earth. Read. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Because they're going to be doing what? They'll be killing us in those lands. That's what apartheid happened in 1976. Soweto uprising, 1960 Sharpville, Marikana 2012. I'm just giving you a few examples. You understand? The bullhook massacre of Inokum Kijima in 1921 when they were slaughtering our forefathers when he was teaching that we are the Israelites. 1921 in the Eastern Cape, he was teaching that we are the Jews of the Bible. Understand that? Okay, go ahead. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. We're going to be left few in number among the heathen. Go ahead. Whither the Lord shall lead you. Whither the Lord will lead us as slaves. Go back now. Okay, Jeremiah 28 verse 8. So in all these countries, Israel is scattered in all these countries and we're serving hard bondage. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Go ahead. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries. Against many what? Against many countries. Against many countries, read. And against great kingdoms. Against what? And against great kingdoms. Okay, read that verse and finish it. Read again from the top. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Read that again verse 8. Come on, I'm sorry. Read it again. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before thee of old prophesied, they did what? Prophesied. They prophesied. Come on. Both against many countries. Both against many countries. Read. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Okay. Read. Of war. Of what? Of war. Of what? Of war. Of war. Of war. Hold that. Go back to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 10. Verse 9. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 9. Okay. Read that again. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Read. Even him whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Even him whose coming is after the what? Whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Is after the waking of Satan. Go ahead. With all power. With all what? With all power. With all power. Come on. And signs. And what? And signs. The power that we're reading about yet. Go back to where it was at in Jeremiah 28, verse 8. With all power. What is he talking about with all power? The Apostle Paul is saying the same thing here. Okay, read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Go ahead. Prophesied both against many countries. Prophesied both against many countries where Israel is scattered. Read. And against great kingdoms. Against great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom. You understand? Europe is a great kingdom. China is a great kingdom. Saudi Arabia is a great kingdom. Japan is a great kingdom. You understand? Read. Of war. Of what? Of war. That's the power he's talking about. You understand? Even who's, who's coming is after the working of Satan. With all power. That's the war he's talking about. Read. And of evil. And of evil. You understand? The evil, guess what? The evil is the deception. The evil is lying wonders. Go ahead. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. You understand? Diseases. Understand that? Okay? The diseases goes into what? Science. Science. Technological advancements. That's what he's talking about. So go back. Jeremiah 28. Yo, verse 8 again. I'm sorry. Verse 8. One more again. I'm thinking about something else now. Read that again. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me 
and before thee of old, uh -huh. prophesied both against many countries. Prophesied both against many countries. And against the great kingdom. And of, against what? And against the great kingdom. Ray. Of war. Of what? Of war. Stop right there. So last week what we went over is we went over that this man he is gonna make war with the saints. We went over there. During the time of the apartheid, they made war with us. You understand? During the time of Marikana, they made war with us. You understand? Colonization, 1884, the Berlin Conference. You understand? Vasco da Gama when he came over here. Uh, Bartholomew Diaz when he came over here. Jan van Riebeck when he came over here. They made war with us. 1960 Sharp Deal, they made war with us. The transatlantic slave trade, they made war with us. Understand that the sub sahara slave trade they made war with us, but I'm sp I'm focusing particularly on who? The white man. He's the subject today and last week. Give me Revelation 13, verse 7. Let's touch on that. Because I know some of you forgot already. Let's touch that thing one more again. Revelation 13, read verse 7. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 7. So what we were going over last week regarding them when he made war with us. It is the type of war. I'm going to explain what the type of war that he made with us during those days. Read that. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. It was given unto this white man by Satan to make war with the saints. The saint is us. Read. And to overcome them. And to overcome them by war. Read. And power was given him over all kingdoms. And power was given over all. all. Read that again. I'm sorry. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 7. Read. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. It was given unto this white man by Satan to make war with us, the Israelites. Read. And to overcome them. And to overcome us by war. Read. And power was given him. And power. And what? And power. And what? And power. That the power. The same power we read in Jeremiah 28. Power. Power to make war. Read. Was given him of all kindred, over oh, all kindreds. Over all kindreds because we are scattered all over the earth as families. Go ahead. And tongues. And tongues because we will be in these multiple lands speaking different languages. The languages of our captivities. Read. And nations. And nations because Israel will be scattered among all nations on earth. That's what he's talking about here. He made war with us. You understand? Give me that in Isaiah 9 and 5. I'm going to show you the war, the type of war he made with us during those days. Okay, and the, the type of war that he made with us escalated. Watch this when he made war with us, and he made war with these other nations that he was conquering outside of us, their own people, their own race. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. Read for every battle of the warrior, for every battle of the warrior, come on, is with confused noise, is with confused noise. Remember. The blessing that was given to this white man was that what? By thy sword shall thou live. That's the power. Okay? The, the power to make war. He's got the spirit of war upon him. Read. And garments rolled in blood. And garments rolled in blood. Because we use they use what? Here you swords. They use sword. That's the type of weapons they had. They didn't have guns during those days. But war, the type of war that they brought upon us escalated. They started to what? They started to have, they started to make scientific advancements to create things like guns, gunpowder. You understand? To start to make bombs, nuclear bombs. Okay? Read. But this shall be with burning and with burning and fuel of fire. But this war, this World War III that's coming, will be what? Will be we will be with what? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Because it's, go it's going into nuclear war. The nuclear war we started in 1945 in war during World War II. That's the, that's the escalation of the type of war that he will make with us. The type of war will escalate because of what? The technological advancement that Satan will give to this white man. To develop, you understand? And to store in those missile silos. Understand that? Okay. So now, um, now give me, give me the book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 14. Watch this. No, no, not Revelation 11 verse 14, but give me the Revelation chapter, hold on a sec. One second, one second. Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. Watch this. I'm going to show you the war. The war escalated. He made war, you understand, with us. And guess what? He also made war 
when he was conquering his own people. You understand? When, like you are you seeing right now, Russia may waging war with Ukraine, which is not really a fight. Okay? But watch this. Revelation 9 verse 12. The book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. Watch this. Come on. One war is past. One war is past. This is World War I. 1914. Write that down. World War I. 1914. That's the first war that is past. It is past already. Read again. The book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. Go ahead. One war is past. One war is past. Let's see the definition of this word war. Give me that in... Um, Give me that in Hosea chapter 7. I believe that's what I want. Hosea. Yeah, Hosea chapter 7. Read verse 13. Watch this. The book of Hosea chapter 7 verse 13. Go ahead. Woe unto them. Ah, it says, woe unto them. Come on. For they have fled from me. For they have fled from me. Go ahead. Destruction unto them. Destruction unto them. So the word war means destruction. Read. Because they have transgressed against me. Because they have transgressed against me. So the word war means destruction. So go back to Revelation chapter 9 verse 12 now. Now we have a better understanding what the Apostle John was saying in this wise. Okay. Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. Read that. The book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. Go ahead. One war is past. One destruction is past. That's World War I. 1914. Go ahead. And behold, they come two woes more year after. It says, it says they come two woes more year after. Meaning there's another destruction. There's two more destruction that needs to take place. Give me Revelation chapter 11 now. I'm showing you the escalation of the type of war that this white man waged against us. It started with the battle of the warrior with the sword, with garments rolled in blood, and then it escalated because there was technological advancements that Satan gave to this white man. Okay? Read that. Revelation 11 verse 14. Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 14. Go ahead. The second war is past. The second war is past. This is World War II. 1945. With Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When they dropped the atomic bomb upon those Japanese, the, the, those, Japan, those two Japanese cities. Read again, verse 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. Go ahead. The second war is past. The second war is past. World War II has happened already. But World War II, that's when this white man developed these what? These signs. The signs. Technological advancements. You understand? Give me that in Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 54 verse 16 Because guess what the, the Satan began to equip this white man With his knowledge of scientific advancements To build nuclear bombs When Albert Einstein did what They split the atom and all that He created E equals MC squared And all that Yeah, Satan was talking to him That's why he was able to come up with that It's not because he's clever No, Einstein was not clever Einstein is because he worships Satan. That's why he came up with E equals MC squared. Don't let them fool you. They worship Satan. Satan is the one that gives them these formulas. Because how the hell does somebody come up think of splitting an atom? Who does that? Because the white man worships the devil. Now read that. Chapter 54 verse 16. Come on. Behold. I have created the smith. The smith. He says, I've created the smith. The smith is the scientist. Okay? Who Albert Einstein? Who Niels Bohr? Who Gauss? Hmm? Who's, who's the other ones? Um, Isaac Newton. That's them, right? Uh -huh. Who Dirac? Who Paul Dirac? That's them. That's the smiths. Read. That bloweth the coals in the fire. Go ahead. And that bringeth forth an instrument. And that bringeth forth an instrument. Go ahead. For his work. What is that instrument? That instrument is a nuclear bomb. It's a nuclear warhead. Read. And I have created the waster to destroy. You see that? So the scientists create the waster. Meaning a, the type of weapon that is capable of wasting, that wasting islands. The, the, the type of weapon that is capable of shifting the the earth out of its axis. 
That's the type of waste that, that these scientists are creating in the labs. Understand what's going on here? Okay. Read that again. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Read it again. And I've created the what to destroy? And I've created the waster to destroy. The waster is the nuclear bomb. That's the waster. Because it wasted those two Japanese cities in World War II, 1945. Understand that thing. Go back to Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. I'm showing you the escalation of the war. The type of weaponry that this man had. No longer used that type of sword. Now the sword is the gun. Now the sword is the nuclear bomb. Now the sword is what? The sword now is pestilences and diseases. The sword now is what? Social media. That's the sword he's using now. You understand? It's more calculated. It's more deceitful. It's more diabolical now. Okay? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. Go ahead. The second war is past. The second war is past. That's World War II. Go ahead. And behold, uh -huh. the third war cometh quickly. The third war cometh quickly. That's World War Three. That has not happened yet. But we have, you hear wars. There's wars that is happening upon this earth and rumors of wars to come. And the main war that's coming is World War Three, The war of Armageddon. You understand? That's what the Bible talks about when it says the war of Armageddon. That's the war is, is being referenced. The war that has not happened as yet. Give me that in Revelation 16 verse 16. Revelation 16 verse 16. Watch this. Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 16. Read. And he gathered them together into a place uh -huh. called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Amma what? Armageddon. Armageddon. That's World War Three. This is the deadliest war that's gonna, that is going to come upon this earth. Nations will go to war. The nation will make them fight so that they can destroy themselves for our deliverance. Understand that thing. Okay, go back to Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. One more again. One more again. The book of Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. Go ahead. The second war is past. The second war is past. Come on. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. The third war cometh quickly. This word, third war that cometh quickly, guess what? This is a nuclear war that's coming. Straight up nuclear war that the nations cannot stop. That's why these, these great kingdoms... They are building nuclear bombs. You've got China, you've got Russia, you've got America, you've got the EU, you've got Japan, you've got Saudi Arabia. Listen, they all got nuclear arsenal. Why? Because they are preparing for World War III. The nations know that World War III is inevitable. They cannot escape it. They know it because the nations believe the Bible, by the way. But they make you believe that they don't believe it. So you don't read it. Understand that? I'm going to show you. These nuclear weapons, because the nations have nuclear, they've got nuclear silos. In these nuclear silos, they've got nuclear warheads. Those are not toys. Those are not going to be in museums. Those are going to be used. You understand? And the Bible talks about that. Give me that in Job, chapter 20, verse 24. Job 20, verse 24. Watch this. I'm showing you here the escalation of the war here. The escalation of the war. Because for the white men to be able to do this, what needed to happen? They needed to be some they needed to be extreme technological advancements for him to for him to get to where he is now. You understand? Hold that. Give me the book of Daniel. Before we go any further, give me Daniel 12. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3. Go ahead. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Read. And they that turn men into righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Because that's when we, when we keep the commandments unto the end, that's what he's saying. Go ahead. Watch this. But thou, O Daniel. But thou, O Daniel. Come on. Shut up the words. Shut up the words that are written in this Bible. All the parables that you've given, shut them up. Don't explain them. Read. And seal the book. And what? And seal the book. And seal the book. The book is the Holy Bible. You understand? The sealing of the book is the sealing with the laws of God. So for us to be able to unlock the mysteries and the parables and the prophecies, we need to keep God's commandments. Give me that in Isaiah 8 verse 20. Okay? Isaiah 8 16, actually. Isaiah 8 verse 16. He says, and seal the book. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 16. Read. 
Bind up the testimony. Bind up the testimony. Come on. Seal the law among my disciples. You see that? Seal the law. Seal the law among my disciples. The sealing is the sealing of God's laws. When we keep God's commandments, the Lord will open unto us our understanding that we may understand the scriptures. So go back to where was that now? Daniel 12 verse 4 again. The book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 4. Read. But thou, O Daniel. But thou, O Daniel. Come on. Shut up the words. Shut up the words that are written in this book. Read. And seal the book. And seal the book. Go ahead. Even to the time of the end. Even unto the time of the end. Because in the last days, the sealing of the book will be removed. We're going to have understanding of it. But for us to have understanding of the sealing of the book, we must keep God's commandments. We must remember who we are. We must understand the curses. We must know that we Israel and begin to keep God's commandments and the ceiling will be open unto us. Read. Many shall run to and fro. Many shall run to and fro. Many of our people will run to and fro. Read. And knowledge shall be increased. And knowledge shall be increased. Meaning the knowledge of this white man will be increased. The knowledge of science will be increased. Not only that, but the knowledge of this Bible will also be increased as we keep God's commandments. Read. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two. No, no, that's it on that. Read again, verse 4. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 4. Read. But thou, O Daniel, uh -huh. shut up the words and seal the book. Read. Even to the time of the end. Even to the what? Even to the time of the end. Even unto the last days. But in the last days, the book will be open unto us. Read. Many shall run to and fro. Many shall run to and fro, trying to look and find the understanding of this Bible. That's what he's talking about. Go ahead. And knowledge shall be increased. So the knowledge of the Bible will be increased because the prophets will be on the street corners teaching it. Not only that, but the knowledge of the white man's signs will be increased because he's going to worship his, for his father more and more, which is Satan. Understand that? And by that knowledge, what are they going to do? Job 20 verse 24. The book of Job, chapter 20, verse 24. Go ahead. Ye shall flee from the iron weapon. This white man is going to flee from the iron weapon because this instrument that he's creating is for his destruction. He just doesn't know it. Read. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. The bow of steel is a missile. The bow of steel is a nuclear weapon, is a nuclear warhead. That's the bow of steel that's going to strike this white man. Go ahead. It is drawn. And cometh out of the body. He says this weapon, this bow of steel, he says it is drawn and cometh out of the body. What is the body? Missile silo. The body is a missile silo. Go ahead. Yea, the glittering sword. The what now? The glittering sword. The glittering sword. Because when the nuclear missile is flying up there, guess what? The sparks coming behind it. The sparks coming at the back of the missile. That's what he's talking about. Go ahead. Yea, the glittering sword mm -hmm. cometh out of his gall. It cometh out of the out of his gall. Go ahead. Terrors are upon him. Because that thing is terrifying. The nuclear bomb is terrifying. Go ahead. All darkness shall be hid in his secret place. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A fire not blow. A fire not what? A fire not blow. Because this fire, the white man will not be able to put this fire out. Whatever he tries to do, whatever he does, he will not be able to put the fire that is going to be caused by a nuclear blast, by a nuclear bomb. The fire that is being, made, that is being referenced here is what? It's talking about the lake of fire. You understand? It's the lake of fire. Read it again. The book of Job, chapter 20, verse 24. Verse, verse 26. Verse 26. Go ahead. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. All darkness shall be hid. What? All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. Ray. A fire not blow shall consume it. A fire that will not be put out is going to consume this white man. Go ahead. It shall go in with him that is left in his tabernacle. You see that thing? Listen. Nuclear weapon. These are nuclear bombs. Because knowledge of science will be increased. And that's what this white man will do. Satan will teach him how to split the atom, how to come up with the formula called E equals MC squared. Yes, yes. So that he can build nuclear weapons like he can build nuclear bombs. Okay? Give me Isaiah chapter 13, verse 13. Let me show you how powerful this weapon is. 
Because these nuclear bombs that this white man is building, they are more powerful. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 18. This is what this weapon is going to be capable of doing. Go ahead. Therefore, I will shake the heavens. The Lord says he will do what? Therefore, I will shake the heavens. The Lord says he will shake the heavens. Go ahead. And the earth shall remove out of a place. Stop right there. And the what? And the earth shall remove out of a place. The earth will remove out of its place. Meaning the earth will be shaken out of its axis. Because how powerful these bombs are. One nuclear bomb is capable of taking all of Jobek out. Wiped out. The only thing that's going to be left is going to be what? A hole, a pit. That's how powerful these nuclear bombs are now. So powerful that he can wipe out the whole of Jovek. That's what the white man is building. So these weapons that are being built, they are not to be put in museums to be taken pictures with. It's for war. The third war that cometh quickly. Understand that. Read again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 18. Read. Therefore, I will shake the heavens. I will shake the heavens. Come on. And the earth shall remove out of a place. He says the earth will remove out of its place. Read. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts. Come on. In the day of his fierce anger. In the day of his fierce anger. Because the Most High God will be exercising judgment upon this earth using his son, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Understand that. Now watch this. Give me Isaiah 34 verse 4. Because the nuclear bomb is that is what causes that, that mushroom cloud that you see. That mushroom cloud that you see when a nuclear bomb goes off. Yeah. Can we get a picture of that? Yes, sir. Okay. Show the people the picture of that nuclear bomb. The mushroom cloud. I want the people to see it. I want the people to see what a mushroom cloud that caused by a nuclear bomb looks like. You understand? A mushroom cloud of a nuclear bomb. I want the people to see that thing. Okay? Watch this. They must see it. Now give me Isaiah 34 verse 4 and hold it. I want the people to see what the Bible is talking about. Okay? Come on. Do you have it? Okay, read that. Isaiah 34 verse 4. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 4. Read. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved meaning the kingdoms are going to be dissolved go ahead and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll you see that the heaven will be rolled together as a scroll that mushroom cloud that you see on the screen that is created by a nuclear bomb that's what isaiah is prophesying about so our forefathers they saw these things they saw missile silos that these nations have not only that but they saw the effect of a nuclear bomb read again the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 4. Read. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Read. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. The heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Come on. And all their hosts shall fall down. All their hosts shall fall down. That's the host of heaven. That's their satellites. The ISS up there. You understand? They are all going to come. They're all going to come crashing down. Read. As the leaf falleth off from the vine. You see that? As a leaf falling off a tree. That's how the satellites are going to come down. There's not going to be 911 on that day. You're going to dial 911, there will be none. There is not going to be any emergency services online because the satellites are going to be what? Offline. Read. And as a falling fig, fig from the fig tree. You see that? It's going to be like a fig falling from a fig tree. That's how the satellites are going to come down. So all the work that the... You ever see that movie Transformers? You understand? And they were showing, they said, Decepticons, mobilize. And they took, they took control of their satellites. That's just the claims. But when the Lord returns, their satellite is going to fall down like a leaf falling off a tree. That's what's going to happen. You understand? That's what's going to happen. You understand? But the white man don't understand that. He's too prideful to believe that thing. Give me that in Revelation chapter 13. I'm showing you the signs that this white man... Is going to bring upon this earth. Because remember, go back to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9. So I can show, because right now we're going over the signs. You understand? The signs in Revelation in 2 Thessalonians 2 is not S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's S-I-N-S. S-I-G-N-S. Signs. But that signs is goes into what? Scientific advancements. Now read that. 
the second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Read. Even him uh -huh. whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Because this white man worships Satan, worships the devil. Read. With all power. With all power, come on. And signs. And what? And signs. And signs, S-I-G-N-S. That's the signs. Go ahead. And lying wonders. And lying wonders. This lying wonders goes into what? It goes into his religion. That's the lying wonders because it's lied every it lied to everybody. But it also goes into what? It also goes into the signs he's talking about the lying wonders. Because he's made people to believe that he's so smart. He made people to believe that he's such a genius, he's able to come up with these things. How do they come up with these mathematical formulas and these squiggly symbols? Where do they get that stuff from? Satan. The devil. How does, how does one come up with, no, you know, today I'm going to sit down, I'm going to build an, an operating system called Linux. Linus Torvald. Hmm? He says he's such a genius. Bill Gates, building Microsoft. How did he get the idea to build it? Satan. You understand? Steve Jobs. How did they come up with building Macintosh? Satan. How did he come up with building a tablet, a touch screen? He says, you know, I imagine, because I watched the interview, he says, I imagine resting my hands on this table that I can touch. Satan. Satan was talking to him. It makes him seem like, because me when I was in there, I was like, so he just sat down and imagined this. And he came up with this. He must be so smart. But all praise it to the most high. The wicked will be revealed. How did he come up with all this? The devil. Because he worships the devil. Understand that. What verse you in? Second Thessalonians. Sir. Read it. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Read. Even him uh -huh. whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Even him whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Read. With all power. With all power. Go ahead. And sign. Uh -huh. And lying wonders. I'm going to show you what those lying wonders are. Give me Revelation 13, verse 13. Watch this. With all signs and lying wonders. Watch this. Because something that when you look at it is like, wow. This white man must be God on earth. Watch this. Revelation 13, verse 13. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 13. Watch this. Come on. And he doeth great wonders. He does what? And he doeth great wonders. That's the lying wonders. The lying wonders is the great wonders. Read. So that he maketh fire come, come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. You see that? That's the lying wonders. Nuclear war. Nuclear bomb. That nuclear bomb, that lying wonders... Not only is it going into the Christianity and the religious system. No, no, no. He's still dealing with his science too. The lying wonders is talking about the nuclear bomb. Because he made fire come down from heaven. Because when you see that mushroom cloud. Because again when it explodes, destroyed those two Japanese cities. Guess what? Guess what? The thing keeps, multi the, the fire keeps multiplying because it, it mixes with oxygen in the atmosphere. And guess what? It causes fire. And that fire causes a mushroom cloud. All that energy, that's the fire coming down. It was as if fire came down from heaven. So the white man is doing this. Why? Because he's trying to be like the Most High. I'm going to give an example. Give me Genesis 19 verse 24. I'm giving an example of what happened in the past. What the Most High God did. What the Most High God did, the white man replicated that using his signs and his lying wonders. Watch this. Genesis 19 verse 24. The book of Genesis. Because he's trying to be like the Most High. Read it. Genesis 19, 24. The book of Genesis, chapter 19, verse 24. Watch this. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and, and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the, from the Lord out of heaven. There it is. You see that thing? Because on, during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, fire came down from heaven. The Most High brought fire from heaven. The white man says, I'm going to do the same thing. In 1945, he did the same thing. When Satan told him, listen, you want to make fire come down from heaven? Just split the atom. I'm going to have in your ear. You're going to come up with this formula E equals MC squared. Hmm? And you also going to make fire come down from heaven. And he did it. Read the verse again, verse 24. The book of Genesis chapter 19, verse 24. Go ahead. Then the Lord reigned upon Sodom uh, and upon Gomorrah. You see that? The Lord reigned upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah. Come on. Brimstone uh, 
and fire from the Lord out of heaven. You see that? Read. Go ahead. And he overthrew those cities uh -huh. and all the plague mm. and all the inhabitants of the city. Go ahead. And that which grew upon the ground. Do you see that? That's what the most that's what the white man did in 1945 with Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's what he did. Now go back to where he was at. Revelation 13, verse 13 again. The lying wonders and these powerful signs. You understand? Read them. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 18. Go ahead. And he doeth great wonders. Mm, these great wonders is these lying wonders. Because he's lying to everybody say, I came up with this. No. Satan gave him this so that to make him believe he came up with this. Remember, Satan works for the Most High. The spiritual demon Satan works for the Heavenly Father. Understand that he's an employee. Read what you got. Go ahead. And he doeth great wonders. He doeth. The white man is doing great wonders upon this head for those that don't understand what's going on. Read. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven. That's the same thing that the Most High God did when? During the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. Go ahead. On the earth in the sight of men. And you see that he did it in the sight of all the nations. So that the nation says, who can make war with the beast? Who's able to, to make war with him? Read. And, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth. And he deceived the whole world that dwell, everybody that dwell upon, this white man has deceived them all. Read. By, by the means of those miracles. You see what they call them? You see what they call nuclear bombs? You see what they call this scientific advancement that they do? They call them miracles. What do they call the nuclear bomb that they dropped on Hiroshima? Miracles. That's why after they dropped the bomb, they said what? God bless America. That's what they said. They said, God bless America. Mm. Go ahead. By the means of those miracles. By the means of those miracles, making fire come down from heaven. Go ahead. Which he had power to do. Which he had what? Which he had power. The power that we've been reading in Jeremiah 28 verse 8. You understand? Go ahead. To do. To do, come on. In the sight of the beast. In the sight of the beast. Who's the beast? Satan. The devil. Not only that, the beast goes into what? The EU. Because the EU supports America. You understand? In their technological advancements. Read. Really. Saying to them that dwell on the earth. Saying to dwell, the nations that dwell upon the earth. Read. Really, that they should make an image. To the beast. That goes into the second level of the lying wonders. The deceit. The deception. Because in the house of Satan, they work by deceit. In the house of Satan, they create nuclear bombs. In the house of Satan, guess what they do? They make a fire come down from heaven. Read. Which had the wound by a sword. Because this beast, Kamel, stop it. Which did what? Which had the wound by a sword. Which had the wound by a sword, come on. And did leave. And did what? And did leave. Because it took about Rome. When Rome fell in 193 AD, it had a wound by the sword because Rome was destroyed in 193 AD. And it, we entered the period of called the period called the Dark Ages. And Rome came back during the Renaissance. This white man came back in the Renaissance. You understand? Okay? He came back into power in the earth. Read. And what? He says, which had the what? Which had the wound by what? Which had the wound by a sword. Ray. And did live. And did live. So that part right there is going into what? Is going into the image of the beast, which is the white image of Jesus, which I'm going to touch later on. You understand? But I'm still showing you the signs and the lying wonders. Scientific advancements. You understand? Because this scientific advancement that we're reading here, guess what? Audi, ne? what is the slogan of Audi? Somebody look that up. Look it up. It's written in German. Yeah, look it up. Look up. Yeah, look it up. Look at the the uh, the slogan of Audi. For sprung dash technique. That's what it means. Meaning what? Evolution through what? Technology. Now read it. For sprung dash technique. That's what it means. That's what it says. What, it, it, what does it say? Read it. What does it say? What does it say? It says what? 
Reading from Wikipedia. Uh -huh. For sprung Dutch technique. You see that for sprung Dutch technique. What does it mean? Audi's slogan is for sprung Dutch technique, meaning being ahead through technology. No, now get the complete this, complete translation. Get the Google translation. Do a Google translate. Right there what the people is watching. I want the people to see this. What we're reading here is, you see, remember, Audi is German, right? That's Tiemann. VW, that's Tiemann, German. The wise men out of Esau. All this technological advancement that they are making is because of the Germans. Because the white men, the wisest out of the white men is the Germans, which the Bible called Tiemann. They are the ones. You see, those ones, they are literally sitting on Satan's lap. Uh -huh. They are literally sitting on Satan's lap. Google Translate for Sprung Dutch Technique. Yeah, what does it say? <laughs> Evolution through technology, right? Something like that. What does it say? Reading from the translator. Uh -huh. Projection by technology. Projection by... They changed it. It's actually evolu through evolution through technology. They even did it in one of these series called Fringe. You see now the, that series Fringe? They had a, they, they, they said they had a, some kind of a manual in there, which were, with, they were creating a manual. The, the manual says they made the whole world to be a lab. You understand? They call it, there's a manual of it. Hmm. Look that manual up. What is that uh, technological advancement of the manual in Fringe? That series called Fringe. Look that up. I'm going to show you something. I'm showing you these signs and these lying wonders. And the first episode, they, show a, they showed a German engineer, a German chemist doing what? Setting up an experiment to infect the people. What does it say? Did you find it? find the there's a manual there's a, some technological advancement there's some technological manual um on that series called fringe you can google it you understand technological advancements uh manual in fringe in the fringe series this for sprung dash technique is evolution through technology they changed the slogan because i remember many years ago i looked it up what does it mean they advertised Audi, and that was the slogan. They said, for sprung dash technique. I'm like, what does that mean? I looked it up. It was evolution through technology. What does it say? You have to look at uh, Fringe Fandom or something. You understand? Fringe series. The, fr the, fr the series Fringe. Okay. There was a German engineer that used to cross, uh, multiple, cross against, across multiple un universes. Did you brothers find it? There was a German engineer in that series. A German engineer. Listen to what I'm, I'm saying. A German engineer. His name was called David Robert Jones. He was a German engineer that would time travel. You understand? He would time travel. Did you brothers find it? No, sir. Okay, that's fine. You'll look it up later on. Keep looking. You know, if you find it, we'll bring it up in the middle of the class. Okay. Let's go back. Um, give me... Yeah. Um, go back to 2 Thessalonians 2. Verse 9 again. 2 book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 9. Watch this. Even him whose coming is after the waking of Satan. After the waking of Satan. Go ahead. With all power. With all power to make war. Read. And signs. And signs. And lying wonders. Lying wonders. The lying wonders he called the miracles when he made fire come down from heaven. That's the lying wonders. Okay? Now watch this. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. With these technological advancements, you understand, for sprung dash technique, evolution through technological advancements, this is what he further did. Isaiah 14 verse 12. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. Watch this. Go ahead. How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Lucifer is the white man. Lucifer is the white man. Go ahead. O Lucifer, son of the morning. Read. How art thou cut down to the ground? 
which did us weaken the nation. Because they weakened the nation through war, through its sanctions and embargoes. You understand? Through stealing them, through stealing their resources and leaving the nations impoverished, especially the dark nations. Us. Read. For thou hast said in thine heart. This is what the white man has said in his mind. Go ahead. I will ascend into heaven. I will what? I will ascend into heaven. So if Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, he wasn't going to say this. Because Lucifer was not up there with the Most High. Lucifer is the white man. The white man says, I will ascend into heaven. When did the white man ascend into heaven? 1969, with the Apollo 11. Apollo moon landing. Will Neil Armstrong and them, Buzz Aldrin, when they landed on the moon. Go ahead. Verse 13 again, Isaiah 14. The book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 18. Read. Really? For thou hast said in thine heart, mm -hmm. I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend into heaven. Go ahead. I will exalt, exalt my throne above the stars of God. You see that? I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Guess what? Go ahead. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. You see that? When he says, I will, he says what? He says, I will sit upon the mount of the congregation. That's when he says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. What is he talking about? Conquering our brothers and sisters in North America. North, Central, and South America. That's what he's talking about here. Go ahead. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. He's going to tell you where. Read. In the sides of the north. That's North America. Zechariah 2, verse 6 and 7. Hold that. We're coming back here to Isaiah. He says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. That's North America. Babylon the Great. Okay? That's the white man's headquarters. It's not that he's not in South Africa. He's here. They've been here for more than 500 years. They've never turned black yet. What does he say? Did you find it? ZFT. ZFT. What do they call it? Yeah, ZFT. Yeah, but what is it called? There's an explanation for it. ZFT. Yeah, bring, give it to Zodahega. Okay, give me, let me see. ZFT. Yes, let me see. Yeah, that's the one. ZFT. ZFT. Yeah, the ZFT was the brain was the brainchild of William Bell. By the way, this is in the series called Fringe Science. Not much is known about the early years of the organization, but a ZFT manifesto was created that spelled out the organization's goals and benefits. William Bell typed the manifesto on his typewriter that he left behind at the Harvard Laboratory. Yeah, okay, okay. Um... There was something that they were saying about the ZFT. Yes, sir. What does it say? Read it. Bear with us, brothers and sisters. Bear with us. Yes. Yes, sir. Read it. What does it say? Reading from fandom. Uh -huh. Fringe fandom. We yes, yes. That's what I was saying. You must look for fandom. Read that. ZFT. Uh huh. ZFT is a scientific R&D terrorist organization. You see that? A scientific terrorist research and development organized terrorist organization. You understand? Go ahead. That traffics in scientific experiments and innovation. You see that? They traffic in scientific experimentation and innovation. That's what the white man is doing. Go ahead. ZFT, in fact, stands for Z. Good, look it up. Get the translation of that thing. Is there? Read it. Which is, is German. Which is, we, oh, which is what? Which is German. Which is German for what? For destruction by advancement of technology. There it is. You see that? ZFT. Destruction through the advancement of technology. That's what Esau is doing. That's what Esau is doing with what? With his science. You understand? Timon. The Germans. They are the wisest out of Esau. That's why you have um, Polytechnic. You've got these Polytechnic universities in Germany, in Zurich, in Berlin. You understand where Einstein and them went? NASA has got many of the scientists. They are from where? Germany. 
Read that definition again. ZFT. ZFT. Uh huh. ZFT is a scientific R and D terrorist organization. You see that scientific terrorist organization. Go ahead. That traffics in scientific experiments. They in traffic innovations. in scientific experimentation and what? And innovations. Watch this. Go ahead. ZFT, in fact, stands for whatever that means. Yes. Which is German for destruction by advancement of technology. That's what ESO is doing. That's what ESO, when ESO came back in 1453, when he came back into power, the, the, Satan powered ESO to do this. So ZFT, listen, when you look at watch this series, Fringe, you must watch it. Take your time and watch the series. You really see what the white man is doing. He says what? The whole, the whole world is a lab. They experiment with the people. You understand? Destruction through the advancement of technology. For sprung dash technique. I would just phrase it different. It's all the same thing. Don't be fooled, brothers. Do not be fooled. Okay? All praises, brothers. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Okay. Isaiah 14, verse 18 again. Chapter 14, verse 18. Go ahead. For thou art said in thine heart, Ray. I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend into heaven. Go ahead. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Go ahead. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sight of the north. That's not America. Zechariah 2 verse 6 and 7 now. Because he went to the Americas to do just that, to conquer. We understand? And to, uh, to destroy dark nations through the advancement of technology. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 6. Go ahead. Ho, ho, come forth. He says, ho, 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 come forth, come on. And flee from the land of the north. The land of the north is North America. Go ahead. Saith the Lord. Read. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven. Because the Lord has scattered us over all over the earth. Read. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Deliver thyself, O Zion. Deliver yourself, O Zion. Come on. That dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. That dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. Where? In the land of the north. North America. Okay? Which is the headquarters. You understand? So now, go back to Isaiah. Chapter 14. Read verse 14 now. The book of Isaiah. Before, before you get there, before you get there, get Obadiah chapter 1 verse 2. Obadiah verse 2. Obadiah, read that. Verse 2. Watch this. The book of Obadiah, verse 2. Come on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. He says, I have made you small among the heathen. Who is he talking about? Jump up to verse 1. Watch this. The book of Obadiah, verse 1. Go ahead. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. You see that this vision right here of Obadiah is concerning Edom. The white man, the dragon, the beast, Lucifer. Go ahead. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. Uh -huh. An ambassador is sent among the heathen. There's going to be an ambassador that is going to be sent among the heathen. Meaning the heathens are going to are going to come together to go against America. That's what's coming. Read. Arise he uh -huh. and let us rise up against her in battle. You see that? There's going to be one heathen is going to say, you know what? It's time to go to war with this beast. Read. Behold. I have made this small among the heathens. You see that the Lord says he made Edom small among all the heathens on this earth. Go ahead. Thou art greatly despised. Because they are hated. All the other heathens, they hate America. They hate the white man. But guess what? They are afraid of the white man. You know why? Because the white man has Satan behind him. Go ahead. The pride of thine heart has deceived the thee. Pride, this white man is very proud. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Because during the dark ages, they were dwelling in the clefts of the rocks. You understand? They were dwelling in the Caucasus mountains of Georgia, Russia. Go ahead. Whose habitation is high. Because they like high-rise buildings. Why? Because they are used to the Caucasus mountains of Georgia, Russia. Read. That saith in his heart. This is what the white man says in his mind. Read. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Because for him to say that, he have to be what? He have to be above all nations on earth. He has to be the ruling empire on the planet Earth. You understand? 
Okay, go ahead. Verse 4. Watch this. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Though thou exalt yourself as the eagle, because that's the symbol of America. The eagle. What was this? The symbol of Spain. The eagle. What was the symbol of Germany? The eagle. What was the symbol of, uh, of Russia? The eagle. What was the symbol of Rome? The eagle. What was the symbol of Greece? The eagle. Is all the same nation here. Go ahead. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. You see that? He set his nest among the stars. What did he put up there? The International Space Station. The ISS. He set his nest. The nest is up there. That's why he even made a movie called Elysium of Matt Damon. When the, the Elysium was what? The Elysium is, is, is effectively the ISS. Because only the rich could get up there. That's why Jeff George, is it what is Jeff Bezos of Amazon? He's going up there. Elon Musk, he's going up there. Richard Branson, he's going up there. They are the rich. So in that movie Elysium, they show only the rich was up there. And if you wanted to get up there, you needed to have money to get up there. They had the cure. They had all, listen, there was every type of diseases. They had the cure for all the diseases. So down here on earth, when we wanted to get cured, we had to go up there. And if you don't have money, you drop dead and die. You see that? Watch the movie so you can see. Destruction through the advancements of technology. Okay? Go ahead. Do thou, do thou exalt thyself as the eagle? Read. And do thou set thy nest among the stars? Read. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. The Lord says he's going to bring this white man down. So when he landed on the moon, 1969... That was the beginning of the age of decadence. Get the definition of the age of decadence and read it. The beginning of the age of decadence started in 1969, when the, after the white man landed on the moon. That was the beginning of the age of decadence, the age of decay. Okay? That's why the Lord says, Thence will I, be, will I bring thee down to the ground. Okay? Now read that. Did you find it? The definition of the age of decadence. In French, it's called the age of decadence. Read that. Okay, take your time. Take your time and look it up. The age of decadence. Read that. Okay, did you find it? Read that. Yes, sir. Read. Read. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me read it. Okay, the word decadence, which at first meant simply decline in an abstract sense, is now most often used to refer to a perceived decay in standards, morals, dignity, religious faith, honor, discipline, or skill at governing among the members of the elite of a very large social structure such as an empire america is an empire it's a great kingdom that's governing all nations on earth you understand yeah an empire or a nation state you see that by extension it may refer to a decline in art literature science technology and work of ethics or very loosely to self-indulgent behavior that's the world we're living in right now the age of decadence you understand moral decay technological advancements through destruction yes that's the age of decadence so america has been going through the age of decadence or the european nations have been going through the age of decadence through 1969 since that time understand that that's why the lord has said thence will i begin to bring thee down said the lord go back to isaiah now chapter 14 verse 14 the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 14. Read. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. You see that? He says, he will ascend above the heights of the cloud. This is what? This is 1903 with the Wright brothers. When they first took flight. This is the aeroplanes now. This is the invention of the aeroplane. Go ahead. I will be like the Most High. He says he what? I will be like the Most High. I will be like the Most High. He is telling you that, listen, I'm going to be like God on this earth. That's why he's mimicking what the Lord did. That's why the white man is doing things like cloning. They can clone animals now. Yes, yeah, they can do it. 
You understand? He says, I will be like the Most High, and you're going to worship me. All praises to these two that were waking up. We're not going to worship no white man. The hell is this? Job 20, verse 4. Watch this. Job chapter 20, verse 4. Watch this. The book of Job chapter 20, verse 4. Go ahead. Knowest thou not this of old? Uh huh. Since man was placed upon earth, this is this meaning since the time of Genesis. Go ahead. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. Meaning what? The triumphing of the wicked is what? Is short. You understand? Meaning their rulership is short. When did it start also? 1776. The inception of Amer the Americas. Go ahead. And the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment. Because the white man is the biggest hypocrite on this earth. They say in God we trust. But they go around killing the people of God. Because they don't trust in God. They trust in gold, oil, and diamonds. And drugs. Go ahead. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens. That's space travel. Though he all goes to space. Go ahead. And his head reach unto the clouds. And his head reach unto the clouds. That's the what? The aeroplane in 1903. Go ahead. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dam. That's some heavy stuff right there. Although he does all these technological advancement, they go to space. They land on the moon. They go to Mars. Hmm? Listen, the Lord says he's going to perish forever like his own poop that comes out of him. Read. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Because he's going to be destroyed. Go ahead. He shall fly away as a dream. He's going to fly away as a dream because right now we are in a nightmare, brothers. This is a nightmare. Understand that. Go ahead. And shall not be found. And he's not going to be found. Go ahead. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. That's, that's how the white man is going to be destroyed. He's going to be chased away like a vision of the night. You know when you wake up in the morning, you're in a nightmare. You're like, oh, I thought that was real. That's what, that's the, what we're living in right now. We actually in a nightmare. When the Lord returns, right now the Lord is waking us up spiritually. You understand? We remember who we are. But when he returns, literally, we're going to say to each other, you know I had a dream that we were in slavery and the white man was ruling over us. Can you believe that? I'm like, you know I had the same dream. Because that's what's going on. We're in a nightmare right now. Go ahead. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. You see that? The eye also which saw him. That's why, is this the man? That's what we read in here. Go ahead. Apologies, sir. The book of Job chapter 20, verse 8. Verse 9. Go ahead. Verse 9. Read. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Read. Neither shall his place any more behold him. You see that? We're not going to see him. Now, I'm going to show you something. You see those, um, you brothers that are in the medical field that you're talking about um these uh the gift of the givers right gift of the givers what's the other one uh lte lte medical mt lte medical solutions uh the gift of the givers what's the other one oram institute oram yes sir oram institute guess what i get what they're doing is they've got all these mobile um they've got mobile clinics now right Mobile clinics, they say it's for free. They come into our, into our, into our, because these are not communities. Ne? <laughs> We're not in communities right now. No. We just find ourselves just being on the same place. We, we are not in communities. No, no, we're not. These are not communities. No, no, we are not in communities. Okay. Now, now, what we're reading here is verse 9. I'm going to show you. You see these, because they say you don't pay for anything. The, the medical examination is free. And we know the medical examination is not free, brothers. You pay for it. The pills are not free. You pay for them. But well, not for some reason, they're giving these things away for free. Watch the next verse. Go ahead. Verse 9. No, Job. verse 10. The book of Job chapter 20, verse 10. Watch this. His children shall seek to please the poor. There it is. <laughs> His children shall seek to please the poor. Who is the poor? Isaiah 14 verse 32. His children will seek to please the poor. They will seek to please us, the Israelites, because of the evil they've done. 
But listen, we want proper reparations, which is when the Lord returns. That's right. Judgment, wiping out of the wicked of the earth. Read it. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 32. Go ahead. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation? Read. That the Lord has founded Zion. The Lord has founded Zion. Come on. And the poor of his people shall trust in him. The yes. poor of his people shall trust in it. So we, Zion is the poor of his people. So go back. Job 20 verse 10. The book of Job chapter 20 verse 10. Uh -huh. His children shall seek to please the poor. That's why they, that's why they are doing this. They want to please us. No, we're not going to be pleased. We want you to pay for what you've done. Go ahead. And his hands shall restore their goods. You see that? Are they, they, they're not going to do it now. They're going to do it when the Lord returns. They're going to bring everything they stole from us. And then some. You understand? So now, um, go back to Second Thessalonians. Okay. 2 verse 9. Second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2 verse 9. Watch this. Even him whose coming is after the waking of Satan. Go ahead. With all power. With all what? With all power. The power to make war. And signs. And signs, come on. And lying wonders. The lying wonders go is into the white man's technological advancements. Not only that, but it goes into which witchcraft, which is Christianity, which is science, which is all the same. Now watch this. I want to show you something now. Now, give me the book of Revelation now. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me see some. Let me slow down a little bit. Watch this. Go back to Jeremiah 28 verse 8. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war of what of war of what of war right and of evil and of what and of evil and of evil come on and of pestilence and of what and of pestilence now i'm gonna show you you see when it says signs and lying wonders the signs goes into give me first timothy 6 verse 20 First Timothy chapter 6 verse 20. Watch this. Because, because it says, signs and lying wonders of war, of evil, and of pestilence. I'm going to go into that now. Read that. First book of Timothy chapter 6 verse 20. Come on. O Timothy. O Timothy, come on. Keep that which is committed to thy trust. What is committed to our trust is this Bible. The Bible was committed to our trust. Read. Avoid profane and vain public. Uh-huh. Opposition and 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 oppositions of science and oppositions of science because the white man uses science to oppose the Bible. Go ahead. Falsely so called. You see that oppositions of science falsely so called. <coughs> the white man's science opposes the Bible because it says what he that opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Now watch this. Give me Ezekiel 7 verse 21. So he uses signs. Go back to Isaiah. Give me go back to Jeremiah 28 verse 8. The book of Isaiah. Watch chapter, this. Chapter 28, verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before thee of old prophesied. Read. Both against many countries. Both against many countries, come on. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms, read. Of war. Of war. And of evil. And of evil. The evil goes into the Christian church. You understand? The evil that they do. Not only the Christian church, but the evil that they do to conquer, destroy, colonize, rename, and enslave us. Read. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. Is that it on there? Yes, sir. That's the part I want to deal with now. And of pestilence. Pestilence. That goes into diseases. We're going to deal with that. Okay? Okay. Now read that. Give me, give me the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 21 now. I'm going to show you something here. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 7 verse 21. The book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 21. Come on. 
and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey. The Lord says he will give us into the hands of strangers for a prey. The strangers is these other nations. Go ahead. And to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And to the what? And to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. Who's the wicked? Whose coming is after the waking of Satan, the white man. He's the wicked. Read. And they shall pollute it. And they're going to pollute us. They're going to spoil us. You understand? They're going to bewitch us. Give me Colossians 2 verse 8. Colossians 2 verse 8. Watch this. Read the Bible. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Go ahead. Beware lest any man spoil you. Beware lest any man spoil you. Remember, look, let's notice, the apostle Paul didn't tell which man this is. He wasn't specific. But he's talking about the man that was ruling the, during the time he wrote the letter. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man what? Read that verse 8 again. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Read. Beware lest any man spoil you. Lest any man, any man, any man. That's wrong. Read. Spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Through philosophy and vain deceit. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. Because they're going to spoil us with man-made traditions. Come on. That's the evil in Jeremiah 28 verse 8. Read. After the rudiments of the world. The rudiments of the world meaning the workings of the world. Whatever the world says, the world says men can be men be gay. That's what the world says. The world says men can be gay. Women can be lesbians. That's what the world says. Okay, read. And not after Christ. Because that's not after Christ. When you push in that man can sleep with another man, woman can sleep with another woman, guess what? That's not after Christ. That's after Satan. Confusion. Okay? Go back now. Ezekiel 7.21 again. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 21. Read. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers mm. for a prey. For a prey, come on. And to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And for the wicked of the earth, to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. Who is the wicked of the earth? The white man, of course. He is the wicked of the earth. Go ahead. And they shall pollute it. They're going to pollute us. Read. My face will I turn also from them. Read. And they shall pollute my secret place. The secret place of the Lord is what? They're going to defile the teachings of the Bible. Give me that in Deuteronomy 29, 29. Is it they're going to pollute the Lord's secret place? The Lord's secret place is the Bible. The white man will take the Bible and pervert it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 29. Watch this. Come on. The secret things. Belong unto the Lord our God. There it is. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Come on. But those things which are revealed. But the things which are revealed. Come on. Belong unto us. Uh -huh. And to our children forever. Read. That we may do all the words of this law. You see that didn't The secret place of the Mosa is this Bible. The white man took the Bible and he's perverting the teachings of the Bible. <coughs> you understand? Go back to where he was at now. Ezekiel 7. Verse 22 again. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 22. Read. My face will I turn also from them, uh -huh. and they shall pollute my secret place. Read. For the robbers shall enter into it. Who's the robbers? The white man. He's the robber of the whole earth. You understand? Because they deem our people, they say, no, black people are thieves. They rob, they steal, they murder. Listen, the biggest murderer upon this planet earth who has never paid for his crimes is the white man. The white man has never paid for his crimes. You see, black men, when they rob each other, that's petty thieves. They're, that's petty crimes they're committing. The biggest gangster on this earth is not the black man with the knife. No. It's not the black man with the okabi. No, it's the white man who, what, who conquers continents and steals continents and the people in it. Read. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. You see that? That goes back to the, the abomination that make it desolate. Read. Make a chain. Mm -hmm. For the land is full of bloody crimes. You see that? The land is full of bloody crimes. Who's actually... Give, hold that. Give me that in um, Revelation chapter 18, I believe. Is it Revelation 18? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on a sec. Yeah, Revelation chapter 18, 
Read verse 24. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 24. Go ahead. And in her was found the blood of the prophet. You see that the hair is America. The hair is the beast. In her, the hair is the great whore. America. Read. And where the people of America are scattered. Which is who? The Germans, the Dutch in Namibia, the Germans in Namibia, the British here in South Africa and in, in Zimbabwe, the Spaniards in Mozambique, the French in the Congo, the British in Nigeria. You see that? The Portuguese in Angola. So on and so forth. Read. And of saints. And of saints. Come on. And of all that were slain upon the earth. You see that? The land is full of bloody crimes. Bloody. That means wherever the white man is, that land is floating on a pool of blood. Go back to where he was at now. Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel chapter 7. Watch this. The book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 23. Read. Make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes. Go ahead. And the city is full of violence. You see that? Remember you know, in Habakkuk it says they shall come all for violence. That's what we read last week. Go ahead. Wherefore, I will bring the west of the heathen. Stop right there. What did the Lord say? Wherefore, I will bring the west of the heathen. The Lord says he will bring the west of the heathen against us. Who's the west of the heathen? The wicked. The wicked. Read. Wherefore, I will bring the west of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. They're going to possess our houses. That was we read in Micah 2. They took our houses through violence. Go ahead. I will also make the pomp of the strong to see. The pomp of the strong to seize is talking about who? Israel. When it was being conquered. Okay. Go ahead. And their holy places shall be defied. By who? The west of the heathen. Read. Destruction coming. That's it. On the, okay. Read. Read verse 25. It's going to tie in with what we read about the third war cometh quickly. Come on. The book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25. Read. Destruction cometh. That's World War 3 in the future. Come on. And they shall seek peace. Uh -huh. And there shall be none. There shall be none. He says when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction. That's what Ezekiel is prophesying here. Understand that thing. Now watch this. Give me the book. Mm. Give me Isaiah 25 verse 7. Because remember, what we went over, we went over the signs and the lying wonders, the technological advancement, the dis, their, dis, their, dis, their destruction of this earth through their technological advancements, right? Now, I'm going to go into the pestilence through the signs that they now, that, the, that Satan has given unto them. Okay, read that. Isaiah 25 verse 7. Watch this. The book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7. Go ahead. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. You see that the face of the covering that has been cast over all people. You see the white man has put a veil over the eyes and the minds and the conscience of the people upon this earth. That's what he has done. That's why it says the covering cast over all the people. The white man has put a covering cast over all people on the earth. Go ahead. And the veil that is spread over all nations. And it spread a veil of deceit and deception over all nations on this earth. That's what he has done. Particularly, especially us. Isaiah 60 verse 2. That's our people. They trust in this white man so much because mm, uh, my truth is missing. The white man is going to go and fix me a new one. You understand? Yeah. That's why you see Bukabu, Bu, uh, Mayweather. They are doing hair and beard transplants. Bu Jimmy Fox. They are doing hair and beard transplants. Because they trust in this white man that much. You understand? Read them. Isaiah 60 verse 2. The book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2. Go ahead. For behold. The darkness shall cover the earth. You see that? That's the same thing we just read in Isaiah, the 25th chapter. It says, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Meaning what? The white man will cover the earth through his witchcraft. Go ahead. And gross darkness the people. And gross darkness the people. So darkness will cover the whole earth. 
but the greatest darkness will cover the people of God. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, mm. and his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's why we're waking up now. Oh, praise the Lord for that thing, man. Oh, praise. Now watch this. Give me Isaiah 29 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 15. You see, what you come to realize is that when you see all these pestilences upon the earth, remember, when the when the, when the, when the, mm, when the Rona hit, they say, you know, it's a Chinese virus. Isn't that what they said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When that beer, because there's a beer called the Corona, right? Yes, sir. There is one, right? Yes, sir. Dampi yes, sir. sir. When that dampy, when that beer bottle hit the earth in 2021, 2020, 2020, right? They said it was a Chinese virus. That's what Donald Trump said. Okay, but read that. Isaiah 29 verse 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 15. Watch this. Woe unto them uh -huh. that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. You see, who's hiding, who's seeking deep to hide their counsel from the Lord? The white man. The white man does his absolute best to hide his counsel from the Most High. Right? Because he thinks he's protected by Satan. Go ahead. And their works are in the dark. And their works are in the dark. Their works are in the dark. Because the evil that they plan, they plan it behind closed doors. Their works are in the dark. Is that it on there? No, sir. Stop right there. Give me Micah 2 and 1. We're coming back. Is that their works are in the dark. What that mean? Their works are in the dark. This is how, it, but this is what it means when it says their works are in the dark. Micah 2, verse 1. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Watch this. Woe to them that devise iniquity. They devise iniquity, meaning they sit down and concoct evil. Go ahead. And work evil upon their beds. They work evil upon their beds. So before they go to sleep, they plan evil. Go ahead. When the morning is light. When the morning comes, go ahead. They practice. They do what? They practice. Because the whole world is a lab. ZFT. Destruction through the advancements of technology. That's what we're reading. Go ahead. Because it is in the power of their head. Because it is in the what? Because it is in the power of their head. Because the power they have to do all these wonder, all these wonders is because they get the power from their daddy, the devil. Okay, go back now. Isaiah 29, verse 15 again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 15. Go ahead. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Read. And their works are in the dark. Their works are in the dark. Because when the, when, guess what? Is that they work evil upon their beds. And when the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hands. Read. And they say, who seeth us? You see that thing? That's the pride they have. Who sees us? Who's going to figure out that we're the ones that are actually making the earth to be the way that it is? Who's going to figure out that we're the ones that are killing the people through HIV? Who's going to figure out that we are the ones that are injecting them with smallpox? We're injecting them with polio because they did it here in South Africa. My cousin was a victim of that. You understand? When we're still young, five years old, we were forced to go and take the polio vaccine. And my cousin couldn't walk properly from that day. You understand? I grew up knowing my cousin not working properly was because of those polio vaccines that they injected in our in us. All praises, the, 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 my mother didn't, never took me to those things. But my point is, my cousin, he fell victim to that. You understand? Those polio vaccines. Those polio vaccines were not medicine. Were poison in our bloodstream. Read. And they say, who sees us? And that the white man says, who's going to figure out that we're the ones that are actually killing the people with viruses and diseases on the continent, the dark nations? Read. And who knoweth us? Who's, who's going to figure out that we're the ones doing this? Listen, there is a God on this earth. The most High God of heaven and earth is waking us up. Give me Ephesians 6 verse 12. Because their works are in the dark. 
That's why they say, who sees us? Who knows us? Who's going to figure out that we're the ones that are doing this? Read it. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. Watch this. For we wrestle not, a, not against flesh and blood. We're not fighting against flesh and blood here, brothers. Read. But against principalities. But against principalities, meaning what? The powers that be. The powers that be, they are called the government. That's the powers that be. Read. Against powers. Against powers, meaning against great kingdoms. Read. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's the government. The government, they are the rulers of the darkness of this world. You understand? These businessmen, because they work together with politicians, the CEOs of these big Fortune 500 companies, you understand? They all work together with these governments. These mega, these, these, the owners, the pastors of these mega churches, Utiri Jakes, Bukreflo Dollar, Bu, um, Joel Olstein, they work hand in hand with the governments. Read against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You cannot begin to imagine the amount of evil that takes place at night behind closed doors and it gets practiced in the morning. You have no idea the amount of evil that is planned behind closed doors when we are not there watching. You cannot even begin to imagine if the if the Mosa had to show us, listen. You'll tell the Mosa, please take me out. I want to go to sleep, like Habakkuk was saying. Because you're not, you're not going to be able to eat anything. You're not going to be able to walk anyway. If the Mosa had to show you really what the white man is up to. If he had to show you all the evil that this man is doing, you, listen, you wouldn't want to be on this earth. Watch this. Give me that in uh, Matthew 10, 26. Because the things that the white man is doing in the dark, the prophets, we're going to reveal it in what? In the public. Read that. Matthew 10, 26. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 26. Go ahead. Fear them not, therefore, mm -hmm. for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. You see that? There's nothing covered. There's nothing that is done in the dark. You understand? Behind closed doors, that will not be revealed. The prophets will reveal that thing. Go ahead. And he that shall not be known. You see that? Go ahead. What I tell you in darkness. What Christ told us in secret, read. That speak ye in light. Meaning what? We go to the street corners and, and teach the people the laws of God. And teach the people who the devil is on this earth. Read. And what ye hear in the ear. Uh -huh. That preach ye upon the housetops. You see that? Go to the street corners, the highways and byways. Teach the people God's commandments. Matthew 24, 24. Because whatever the white man says, who knoweth us? Who seeth us? The elect will not be deceived by them. We're going to know what the white man is doing and we're going to reveal what he's doing in public. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. Come on. There shall arise false Christ. The false Christ is all these Christian religions that were set up by the white man. Go ahead. And, and the missionaries that came to the continent. Go ahead. And false prophets. And false prophets. The main false prophet upon this earth is Christianity. Christianity is the false prophet. Read. And shall show great signs and wonders. You, that's what we just read in 2 Thessalonians. That's what we read in Revelation 13 verse 13 to 14. Signs and wonders. Go ahead. In so much that, if it were possible. If it was possible with these signs and lying wonders. They shall deceive the very elect. It's letting you know that the elect will not be deceived. The elect will not be deceived. We are not going to be deceived, brothers. As long as we stay in this book, we will not be deceived. Understand that. Okay? Now, watch this. Give me Isaiah chapter 29. Now, read verse 20. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 20. Watch this. For the terrible one is brought to naught. The terrible one is who? The white man. Remember, hold that. Give me a book of one. Because we read it last week. But I know some of you forgot. Let's read it again. Habakkuk chapter 1. Habakkuk chapter 1. Read verse. He says, They are terrible and dreadful. Habakkuk chapter 1. Read verse 6. 
the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 6. Go ahead. For lo, I raise up the Chaldean, mm -hmm. that bitter and hasty nation. That bitter and hasty nation. Go ahead. Which shall march through the breath of this land. Meaning the breath of the land. Go ahead. Which shall march through the breath of the land. Read. To possess the dwelling places that are not there. Next verse. Watch this. They are terrible. They are what? They are terrible. They are what? They are terrible. The Bible is telling you that this white man is terrible. They are terrible in what? And dread. They are terrible and dreadful. Go ahead. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Go back to where he was at now. Isaiah 29 verse 20. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 20. Go ahead. For the terrible one is brought to naught. The terrible one is this white man. He's going to be brought to nothing. Read. And the scorner is consumed. The scorner because he's a scorner. He hates the laws of God. Read. And all that all and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All that what? And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All that watch for iniquity are cut off. What does that mean, watch for iniquity? Second Thessalonians 2 verse 7 again. It says, all that watch for iniquity. What does that mean, watch for iniquity? Watch this. Read. Come on. Second book of Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7. Read. For the mystery of iniquity. You see that? He's saying the same thing. For the mystery of iniquity. Come on. Doth already work. It's already at work. It's already in rulership. They watch for iniquity. They are the mystery of iniquity. They watch for iniquity. Go ahead. Go back. Isaiah 29 verse 20. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 20. Go ahead. For the terrible one is brought to naught. The terrible one is the white man. He is going to be brought to nothing. Read. Right? And the scorner is consumed. And the scorner is consumed because he is the scorner. Read. Right? And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Because the white men watch for iniquity. They are the mystery of iniquity. All sin that happens upon this earth, the white man is responsible for it. Psalms chapter 140 verse 1. Watch this. The book of Psalms chapter 140 verse 1. Go ahead. Deliver me, O Lord, uh -huh. from the evil man. The white man is the evil man upon this earth. Read. Preserve me from the violent man. You see that? The evil man, which is the white man, he is the violent man. That's why it says, they shall come all for violence. Read. Which imagine mischief in their heart. You see that? They imagine mischief in their heart. That's why it says, they watch for iniquity. Read. Continually. They watch for in the mischief continually. Go ahead. And they gather together for war. You see that? They gather together for war. So, guess what? Whenever you see this mobile, these mobile clinics, don't be fooled by that, brothers. Be not fooled by mobile clinics. Mobile clinics, guess what? They gather together for war against us. They injecting us with what? With viruses. They call them vaccines. They injecting us with diseases. They call them vaccines. Those are not vaccines. Those are diseases. The same thing that their forefathers did back then during the apartheid, which we're going to read now, is the same thing, guess what, that these people that are doing today with the gift of the givers, those, those people, they are not for our cause. They are for our destruction. Understand that. Read it. Verse 3, come on. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. You see that? Because they say they know, we are here for you. You know, all the medical examinations, all the statistics that they are collecting about us in the classes. Guess what? They've been trying to do that ever since. They are still trying to count us. But the way they are doing it, they are doing it through, through fear. They say, no, because you're sick. Go and get these tests. They, by the way, they are free. Don't pay for nothing. Read. Adder's poison is under their lips. You see that? Adder's, there's a, there's, the ad, and Adder is a snake. And Ara is a snake. That's the puff Ara. That's the snake. It says Ara's poison is under their lips. Because they say, no, it's for free. You don't pay for anything. We're doing it because we care about you. Since when do they care about us? Even Michael Jackson said in his song, they don't give a damn about us. Go ahead. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. You see that? Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the wicked. Go ahead. 
Preserve me from the violent men. You see that? Preserve me from the violent men, O Lord. Go ahead. Who have purpose to overthrow my going. You see, they, the Lord is telling you this is their objective. So with the gift of the givers, LTE Medical Solutions. What's the other one? Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders. Listen. Listen, those people are not for our cause. Those people, they are doing experiments on us. They're giving us vaccines. They're, they're giving us diseases and viruses. They say they are vaccines. And you've got black men who are presidents who are pushing for that. Knowing very well that the vaccines are killing our people. Because during the wrong now, that's what our people are dropping dead because of that thing. Why? Because the white man is the devil. Read the, the Bible again, verse 4. The book of Psalms, chapter 140, verse 4. Read. Keep me, O Lord. From the hands of the wicked. Read. Preserve me from the violent men. Come on. Who have purpose to overthrow my going. You see that? They are purpose to overthrow our goings. That is their job. That is their purpose upon this earth. Okay? Now give me Psalm 64 verse 2. Psalm 64 verse 2. Read them. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 2. This is part of the prayer we read this day. Read. Hide me from the secret, secret counsel of the wicked. Because you see that? They always have secret counsel against us. Read. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The mystery of iniquity. You understand? It says what? Remember what we read in Isaiah 29, verse 20. Read, read that again. Isaiah 29, verse 20. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 20. Read. For the terrible one is brought to naught. Read. And the scorner is consumed. And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. They watch for iniquity. That's what David is saying here. Go back to where was that? Psalm 64, verse 2 again. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 2. Read. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Come on. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The workers of iniquity. Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. Read. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. We're the perfect. We keep the commandments of the Lord. But they shoot at us in secret. Even if, although we keep God's commandments. Because the more we keep God's laws, he says the dragon will be what? Will be wroth with the woman. Which keep the commandments of the Lord. Read. Suddenly. Suddenly, go ahead. Do they shoot at him? Uh -huh. And fear not. Because they're not even afraid. They don't even hide it anymore. That's why after they do it, they put documentaries out. That's why after they do it, they put movies out. That's why it says, and they fear not. Read. They encourage themselves. They what? They encourage themselves. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember when Esau was purposing to kill Jacob? He says what? Go, go there. Genesis 27. Read it. Genesis chapter 27. You see, they encourage themselves means they comfort themselves. When it says they encourage themselves, it means they comfort themselves. Genesis chapter 27, read verse 40. The book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. No, no, verse 41 actually. That's what we want. Verse 41. Read. And Esau hated Jacob. You see, Esau hated Jacob. The white man hates the black man. We're making it plain. The white man hates the black man. Go ahead. Because of the blessing. Because of the blessing. We went over the blessing earlier in the class. Go ahead. Wherewith his father blessed him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And Esau said in his heart. Esau said in his mind. Read. The days of mourning for my father and hand. Meaning our forefather Isaac was, was going to die. Go ahead. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Then I'm going to kill my brother Jacob, the black man. Go ahead. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebecca. Read. And she sent and called Jacob her younger son. Watch this. And said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, mm. doth comfort himself. Does what? Doth comfort himself. Does what? Doth comfort himself. He comforts himself to do what? Purposing to kill That's him. how the white man comforts himself. When the white man kills us through the through these vaccines, but it could be polio virus. Polio vaccine. No, come for a polio vaccine. Listen, they did, even when I was still in high school, in primary, you had them coming to our schools to inject us. That's what Bill Gates is doing in the continent. 
Bill Gates is doing that. Ray, purpose him to do what? To comfort himself, purpose him to kill. Now go back to Psalm 64. When it says he comforts himself, it means he does what? He encourages himself. Purpose him to kill us. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 5. Go ahead. They encourage themselves. They comfort themselves. Read. In an evil matter. In an evil matter concerning us. Read. They commune of lying of snares privy. They commune, meaning they come together on how they're going to set traps for us. In the communities, they put drugs in our community. You understand? They put alcohol in our community. There's bottle stores at every corner. You understand? They, they poison our food that we eat in our community. In our communities where we stay, there's only one way in and one way out. In case there's a war, we're going to be put to death. Ray. They say, who shall see them? You see that? That's the same thing we read in Isaiah. Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? The white man is saying, who's going to figure out that I'm the one that is actually killing the people with these viruses? And I say they are vaccines. Hmm? The prophet will see it though. Read. They search out iniquity. You see that? They sit down, they go and investigate sin. That's what they do. That's why they imagine mischief continually. Read. They accomplish a diligent search. They accomplish a diligent search. Come on. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. You see that? They think deep. They think 10, 50, 100 years from now. You only think two minutes from now. Because that's what has happened in captivity. They've destroyed our minds through their man-made philosophies. But the Lord is opening our spirits up. Not only that, but he's opening our minds up. So we can understand what this white man is doing behind closed doors. Revelation 6 verse 7. Watch this. We're still dealing with the pestilence. I'm showing you the thought process of how this white man thinks. You understand? When it comes to killing us through these pestilences. Read. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 7. Read. And when he had opened the fourth seal. When he had opened the fourth seal. Come on. I had the voice of the fourth beast say. The fourth beast. The fourth beast. The fourth beast is America. Watch this. Go ahead. Come and see. Uh -huh. And I looked. And behold. A pale horse. A pale horse. Right. Read. And his name that sat on him was death. And the name of the man that was sitting upon this pale horse. He says his name was death. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. And what? And hell followed with him. And hell followed with him. Go ahead. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. Read. To kill with sword. Read the Bible again verse 8. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 8. Read. And I looked. And behold, a pale horse. Mm -hmm. And his name that sat on him was death. There is na he says, a pale horse. And him that sat on this pale horse, he says, his name was death. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. And hell followed with him. Read. And power was given unto them. And power was given to this man that causes death and hell. Read. Over the fourth part of the earth. The fourth part of the earth is the Americas. The fourth part of the earth is the Americas. Go ahead. To kill with sword. To kill with sword, meaning through war. Read. And with hunger. And with famine, food shortages. That's what Bill Gates is buying up all the farmlands. You understand? So he can control import and export of food. Read. And with death. And with what? And with death. Pestilences. Go ahead. And with the beasts of the earth. You see that using animal DNA to create super viruses in these labs. That's what he's telling you what this white man is doing. What this white man is up to. We're going to go into that now. Now watch this. It says what? It says with war, with sword. Read that again verse 8. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked and behold a pale horse. Mm. And his name that sat on him was death. Was what? Was death. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. Stop right there. He says his name, the, the, and he, what, his name was death and hell followed after him. Followed with him, right? Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Let's explain the death and the hell. Who is the death and the hell? He's still talking about the white man, but let's see what the prophets that say. 
the prophets of old, what did they see regarding this man who is death and hell? You understand? Read that. Habakkuk 2 verse 4. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Go ahead. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. He says the soul which is lifted up in the white man is not upright in him. Meaning his spirit ain't right. Read. But the just shall live by faith. By we are the faith. just. The just we live by the faith that we have in Christ our Lord. Read. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine. This white man transgresses by lies. He deceiveth the whole world. Go ahead. He is a proud, proud man. He is a what? He is a proud man. This white man is a proud man. Go ahead. Neither keepeth at home. He's in everybody's lands. They build, they build, uh, uh, the American embassies, they are all over the world. They are in every country. In South Africa, there's an American embassy here. You understand? Read. Who enlarges his desire as hell. He in, you see that? He enlarges his desire as hell. So whatever he desires, he's going to enlarge it through hell. By bringing hell upon the people he's going to conquer. To enlarge his desire. He will walk through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that don't belong to him. That's what he's saying. Habakkuk is repeating what he just said in chapter 1. Read. And is as death. And is as what? And is as death. And is as death. You understand? He brings death and destruction upon the people he conquers and enslaves. Go ahead. And cannot be satisfied. Because the white man is greedy. That's why I, I mentioned, I gave an example and saying, even at the plantation, you understand? The white man, you, you will, they say, we've reached our target this year. The next financial year, they're going to say, listen, we're going to quadruple the target that we want to meet. Because the investors, they are happy. We meet our target. Now the next year's target is triple the amount. But it did, And then they give you little crumbs. They say, these are your bonuses. That bonus you pay for a couple of debts that you have and then the money is finished. Back to square one. But you still have to meet the triple, the, the, the target that is triple the, 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 the target that was reached the year before. They are not satisfied. Understand that they are greedy, right? Meaning they are covetous. Go ahead. And cannot be satisfied, mm -hmm. but gathereth unto him all nations. You see what he does? He said the white man is not satisfied. He gathers unto him all nations because he knows all these nations that gathers unto him after he robs them. Guess what they do? They come to with skill. They come with skills. They come with skills to do what? To boost. Enrich his economy. They come with skills because I was listening to this guy, that's his name, right? He was talking about um, the majority of the skill sets that you find in the US, in Europe, um, lawyers, the best lawyers, they are from Nigeria. The best scientists, the best doctors, they are from Nigeria. He, he was saying that. He was saying in their countries, they are not adding value, but they are adding value in Europe and America. But he was not saying, he was saying it in a negative context, saying that um, when the people, when, when, when South Africa does not do what they're supposed to, the people will leave to go to other countries. You understand? To thrive there with their skills. Because he was blaming the government for the ills of what's happening in the country. So that's what he was saying. But me, what I drew from that was that that's what we're reading here in Bakuk. Gather unto him all people. Because those people come with skills. They are the workforce to keep the walls of Babylon and the lights of Babylon lit. Read. But gathereth unto him all nations. Read. And heapeth unto him all people. You see that? That's why Americans call the great melting pot. You understand? Okay, that's it on that. That's it on that. Give me Isaiah 28 verse 15. Watch this. The death and hell is the white man. You understand? He brings death he leaves the people in a hellish state. That's what he does. Okay, Isaiah 28, verse 15. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. Because he has said, we have made a covenant with death. You see that? This, this is our people speaking here. They have said, they have made a covenant with death. Whose name is death? Meaning they've made the covenant with the white man. He's the death that has been referenced here. Go ahead. 
and with hell are we at agreement. You see that? They made a covenant with death and hell. The death and hell is the white man that's sitting upon the pale horse, enslaving the dark nations. Read. When the overflowing scale shall pass through. I uh, mean, when judgment comes, read. It shall not come unto us. That's, this, this, you see what we're reading here? These are the politicians. Give us a little pause here. Give us Julius here. Give us my money. You understand? That's them. This is them here. When the judgment comes, it says, it will not touch them. Read. For we have made lies our refuge. You see that the lies that the white man tells them. Because remember it says, because thou transgressest by wine. The white man transgresses through what? Through lies. Go ahead. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves. They are hiding themselves under the falsehood. What is the falsehood? The white man is our father is going to look after us. When judgment comes, when destruction comes, they are saying they will not be touched. But they are going to be touched. Understand that. Now watch this. Go back to Revelation 6 verse 8 again. The death and hell. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked and behold a pale horse. Read. And his name that sat on him was uh -huh. death. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. And hell followed with him. Read. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. Because they conquered the Americas north, central and south. Not only that but they conquered here in South Africa too. The British, the Dutch, you understand? The Portuguese in Mozambique, the Portuguese in Angola, the French in the Congo, so on and so forth. Go ahead. To kill with sword. And wherever they get, wherever they arrive, they kill with sword. They kill the people through war, read. And with hunger. They, we see that with famine, food shortages, read. And with death. And with death, they kill the people with death. Viruses, read. And with the beast of the earth. Using animal DNA to create super viruses even more to kill the people. Which people? Us. Now let's get let's get some historical accounts of that. I'm gonna show you what happened here in South Africa during the apartheid. You understand? We need to understand this thing. I'm gonna show you the history of what happened here in Mzanzi for sure. The history that you're not gonna learn, you're not gonna learn this history in schools, you're not gonna learn this history certainly by the politicians. You're not going to learn this history, certainly, by the pastors. You're not going to learn it anywhere but here. Understand that? Okay, let's go into it, brothers. I, wanna, I, want, I, want, I want the pro project coast. South Africa's chemical and biological warfare. I want us to go over there. Okay, you brothers, you ready? Yes, With the pages? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. Okay, so the name, I want you to read now. Okay, come on, come on, read the PDF. Because it's been marked. This PDF, you can find it online. Okay. Reading from the article titled Project Coast. Project Coast. Read. Apartheid's Chemical and Biological Warfare Program. So Project Coast was Apartheid's Chemical and Biological Warfare Program. Read. Edited by Robert Birold. It was edited by Robert Birold and Edomite. Okay, come on. Okay, come on, brothers. Let's go to page the first page now. Let's go there. In the bleakest of days during apartheid in South Africa. During apartheid in South Africa. Despite its membership of the 1972 Biological Weapons Convention, a program to poison the regime's force with chemical and biological warfare agents. So, you see that? So the apartheid had a chemical and biological warfare program to shut down any movement that was starting up in South Africa. Political opposition, black people standing up and rising up, going again, you know, fighting against oppression and apartheid and discrimination and racism. Read. Right? Was conceived in great secrecy at the heart of the military establishment. You see that the South African National Defense Force, the military put the racist apartheid police. Read. Right? Project Coast. Project Coast was to develop a range of chemical and biological agents designed to control, poison, and kill people within and outside of South Africa. Read that part again. Project Coast was to develop a range of chemical and biological agents designed to control... You see, chemical and biological warfare agents, come on. Designed to control, poison... To control, 
poison come on and kill people and kill people within and outside south africa because the people when it says outside the south africa it's our, our people in angola that's what he's talking about the people inside of south africa is took our black people here in bantu stands okay is that it on that no sir go ahead large quantities of riot gas were produced riot gas because when we were toy toying they say we are rioting when we're fighting against apartheid that's why they developed these chemical and biological warfare agents read as were methacolone and MD, mdma mdma that's ecstasy mdma is ecstasy go ahead other chemical and biological agents were produced in small quantities and were used in the convert in in the covert murders and attempted murders of individuals who were seen as a threat to the apartheid government you see that our people were, when they were rising up they were seen as a threat so the way the white men responded here in south africa they created the a chemical and biological warfare program read this included members of the police members of the police were, were part of this because the police they were patrolling in our communities in soweto in alexander in ekas in limpopo everywhere read and the armed forces and at least once an organism was used with the intention of deliberately infecting a whole community you see that with the what was used with the intention the intention of creating these nuclear and chemical biological warfare programs of deliberately deliberately doing what infecting a whole community infecting a whole community that's why that south african um barking saima south african institute of research and something they are the ones that um set up mobile clinics like you see today they set up mobile clinics to infect our people with hiv and they said no we're giving you vaccines is the same the same song that the white the white people sang back then is the same song they are singing today now the next part let's read the next part introduction under apartheid under apartheid now listen up now south africa's white minority regime mm. felt threatened they felt threatened by who from within and outside its border from within they felt threatened by us our forefathers and foremothers that were revolting against the apartheid regime they felt threatened what did they do the survival of the state was paramount in the minds of politicians and the military right politicians and military leaders shared a common belief mm. that the country was at war do you see that the country was at war and we were unarmed many of our people that were slaughtered through guns and bombs here in south africa we were unarmed not only that but they were they were killing us in a different way creating chemical and biological warfare agents right a total war which required a total response you see that so when our people were revolting they said this is total war meaning this is all full on warfare so they said we need to respond accordingly but they knew why they were responding the way they were doing because they knew it's time for the black men to wake up because jura needs to wake up and teach the people God's laws they knew that read right. to this end a nuclear program was initiated in 1970 in the 1970s read right. and the arms industry grew to con con considerable size mm. the leaders of the country decided to include chemical and biological weapons in their extensive arsenal you see that so when they were fighting against our forefathers that was revolting and they were unarmed they responded with chemical and biological warfare agents right if only so that the military would have at its disposal a full range of unconventional weapons mm. the chemical and biological warfare cbw program codenamed coast started in 1981 yo read right? and officially ended in 1995 officially ended in 1995 that program has never ended because they are still doing that same thing today injecting our people with diseases and viruses they say these vaccines that hasn't stopped they're still doing it right the purpose of project coast can be summarized as follows now listen up read to develop chemical warfare agents 
that could be used by security forces mm. to control crowds. To control our people that were revolting and doitoi against the apartheid regime. Read. To do research into offensive and defensive chemical and biological warfare. You see, offensive meaning they did it, they they were intentionally came into our communities to experiment and to infect us with these viruses. Polio was one of them. Read. To develop offensive chemical and biological weapons for operational use. You see that for operational use in our communities. Okay? So I need you to pause that. Open up the Wikipedia link with Project Coast. Open up the Wikipedia link now. Okay? We're coming back to this article. Open up the Wikipedia link. I want you to read from the, from the top there. Project Coast on Wikipedia. Read that. Reading from Wikipedia, uh -huh. Project Coast. Read. Project Coast was a 1980s top secret chemical and biological weapon. You see the top secret. Read. Program instituted by the apartheid era government of South Africa. You see, listen. This is the history that you're not going to learn this in school. Go ahead. Project Coast was the successor to a limited post-war CBW program. Because during the war, when during the war, when before the apartheid quote unquote ended, guess what? They were still pushing those chemical and biological warfare programs in our communities where we were. Read. Which mainly produced the lethal agents, CX powder. CX powder, that's the chemical agents that were produced. That's one of them. Read. And mustard gas. And mustard gas. Read. As well as non lethal tear gas it wasn't non lethal i need you to pay attention to that because the way the white man writes things he writes them so that you forget he says these agents were non lethal listen we just read the objectives of the chemical warfare and biological program was to destroy us from within and our people in angola read as well as non lethal tear gas for riot control purposes you see that the tear gas wasn't non lethal it was lethal I'm going to show you how lethal it was. Keep going. The program was headed by the cardiologist. The cardiologist, the, the head of the program was who? Walter Basson. Walter Basson. Walter Basson was a cardiologist. His job was, he was the head of the chemical and biological warfare program. Read. Who was also the personal physician of South African Prime Minister, P.W. Botha. That demon. P.W. Botha was a demon. Okay, read. Read the history now. History. That part when you say history. Read. From 1975 onwards, mm. the South African Defense Force found itself embroiled in conventional battles in Angola as a result of the South African border war. When it says border wars, because our people were, re were revolting against the borders. Because who created these borders? The Berlin Conference in 1884 under Otto von Bismarck. Those 13 European nations, because when we say we want a borderless Africa, is a threat to them. Because it means, borderless Africa means a united Africa. Meaning Israelites united here in Africa, keeping God's commandments. That's really what it, that's really what it translates in the mind of the white man. Read. The perception that its enemies had access to battlefield, battlefield chemical and biological weapons led South Africa to begin expanding its own program. Mm. Initially, as a defensive measure, and by carrying out research on vaccines. Do you see that? So the chemical and biological warfare program was to create vaccines. Those vaccines, they are responsible for the killing, the crippling of our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Because I know for a fact, because I grew up with that. I know it. Read. As the years went on, uh -huh. research was carried out on offensive uses of the newly found capability. You see that offensive uses of these chemical, chemical and biological warfare programs. Read. Finally, in 1981, President P.W. Botha ordered the SADF to develop the technology so that it could be used effectively against South African enemies. You see, South African enemies, who's, who is he talking about? Black people in South Africa in Bantu stands. Those are the enemies he's talking about. Do not be fooled. Read. In response, the head of the South African Medical Service Division, 
which was responsible for defensive CBW capabilities, mm. hired Dr. Walter Basson, a cardiologist, to visit other countries and report back to their respective CBW capabilities. Okay, what part you had? Okay, scroll down. Project, Cro Project Coast progressively. Read that part right there. Project Coast created a progressively larger variety of lethal offensive CBW toxins and biotoxins. Now, re read unusual features now. Scroll down. Read unusual features. Read that. Unusual features. Uh -huh. The South African Chemical Weapons Program investigated all the standard CW agents such as irritant riot control agents. You see that irritant riot control agents. But I thought these chemicals to disperse, to disperse the crowd was non-lethal. It says irritant. Go ahead. Lethal nerve agent. You see that irritant lethal nerve agent. How is that non-lethal? Because in the beginning of the paragraph, they say non-lethal. But we are reading it says what? Read that part again. Lethal nerve agents. He says they were lethal nerve agents. Ray. An anticoagulant. Anticoagulant. Is that the one? What does it say? An anticholinergic deli delirium. Meaning what? It causes delirium. That's what he's talking about. It causes delirium. Ray. Which have been researched by virtually all countries that have carried out CW research. Ray. The South African program differed in its aims from the CBW programs of many countries mm -hmm. in that a major focus of the program was to develop non-lethal agents to help suppress internal dissent. You see that internal dissent talk about us. It wasn't non-lethal. We just read it. It says, it says what? Lethal nerve agents. So these chemical, these chemical and biological weapons they were be developing, they were not non-lethal. They were lethal. Read. Right. That led to that led to the investigation of unusual non-lethal agents, including illicit recreational drugs. So these illicit rec recreational drugs are they non-lethal? No, they are not non-lethal. Ecstasy is not non-lethal. You understand? Ecstasy is not non cocaine is not non lethal. Read? Such as fancy cladine, MDMA. MDMA, MDMA, that's ecstasy. Ecstasy is not non lethal. Read? Methacolone and cocaine. Co is, are these non lethal? These are not non lethal, brothers and sisters. Understand that? Read? As well as medical drugs such as di diazepam, 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 right? My dazolam, ketamine, ketamine, right? Sexamethonium, sexamethonium, right? And tuba curani, curari. Some of these drugs, you know, they're using these um, demonic names, so you don't know what they are. But keep reading. As, the ones you can't pronounce, just keep. As potential inca incapa incapacitating agent. You said as potential incapacitating agent. So they are not non-lethal. So South Africa's chemical and biological warfare program, they focused on what? Lethal nerve agents to incap incapacitate you. Read. Right? According to the testimony given by Walter Basson to the Truth and Recreational the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. To the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, analogues of the compounds were, were prepared and studied, and both methacholine and MDA, along with de delirium benzene. De Yo, stop right there. Benzene, Pella, you know there was a wave in South Africa where people were addicted to benzene. Benzene is not non-lethal, it's lethal. Our people were addicted to benzene. Guess what that benzene come from? It comes from the chemical and biological warfare program. That our people were what? Our people were addicted to benzene. Our people don't know this history. They forgot also. Ray. Were manufactured in large quantities 
and successfully weaponized into a fine dust. You see that it says they were successfully weaponized into a what? Into a fine dust. Read. Or aerosol from the form that could be released over a crowd as a potential as a potential riot control agent. You see that? So when they were de when they were uh, you know shooting tear gases at us during Soweto 1976. Sharpville, Tutuza, you understand? Listen, they were shooting lethal agents to us, unto us. Understand that, Ray? Basson was later found to have also been selling large quantities of MDMA and methacolone as tablets on the black market. You see that, Ray? But the amount manufactured was far larger than what was sold. So which means what the, the majority of the drugs that was created was here in South Africa. That's why today you see our people are addicted to Nyaupe. Nyaupe is a pro byproduct of South Africa's chemical and biological warfare program. So don't be, don't be fooled, brothers. Don't think that it, it, listen, it ended back then with Project Coast. No. Project Coast never stopped. The scientists, they, they, they died, but they passed the information down to their children. Because today, our people are plagued not by benzene, our people are plagued by ecstasy, cocaine, which is Nyaupe. So who created the cocaine in South Africa? Project Coast. So Project Coast was responsible for creating cocaine here in Mzanzi. And Nyaupe is a poor man's version of cocaine, which is mixed with other drugs. So who's responsible for the Nyaupe in South Africa? The people that were running Project Coast their descendants, they are still pushing them. So Project Coast, that chemical and biological warfare program never ended. The same way apartheid never ended. Understand that? Read. And the court accepted that at least... The court, the South African court accepted what? That at least some genuine... Some what? Some genuine... Some what? Some genuine... Read. Weaponization... Some, how can you have a genuine weaponization of something? Can you have a genuine weaponization of a chemical, a nerve agent? How the hell do you do that? The South African cause because they were what? They were governed by white people. That's why they found a genuine weaponization of these drugs that are killing our people today. Ray. And testing of, of the agents have been done. Mm. A black mamba. A, you, 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 a what? A black mamba. A black mamba. That's why when it says to kill with sword... To kill with hunger, to kill with death, and to kill with the bees of the earth. You see, now it's coming into play now. A black mamba is a poisonous snake. Read. A black mamba and extracted venom were also part of the research. You see that? So they extracted uh, the venom of the black mamba. One of the most poisonous snakes here in South Africa. In Africa, actually. The black mamba is by far the most poisonous and the most deadly snake in, the, in Africa. The black mamba. Read. As were E. coli bacteria genetically modified to produce some of the toxins made by... E. E. So E. coli bacteria was what was manufactured and weaponized to do what? Bacteria genetically modified to produce some of the toxins mm. made by Clostridium perfrigens bacteria. A list of purchases at RRL. And RRL is the Rhoda Platt Research Laboratory. Rhoda Platt Research Laboratory, that's RRL. They were part of the Project Coast. Read. And other documents include references to such things as the snake. The snake, because they were using the bees. They were taking animal DNA, animal venom to create this vaccines and toxins they were using to kill our people go ahead biological agents such as anthrax anthrax was created by what was created by the cbw program go ahead brucellosis brucellosis that's another um you know agent read cholera cholera remember people were dying in south africa from cholera where do you think created cholera? The white man in South Africa. You understand? Using the what? 
the, under the CBW program, Project Coast. They were, cholera was created by Project Coast. Read? And Salmonella. And Salmonella that you find in meat. Go ahead. Among others. And chemicals including aluminium phosphoside, thallium acetate, sodium azide, sodium cyanide. Sodium cyanide, cyanide poisoning. Go ahead. Mercury oxycyanide. Mm. Mercury oxycyanide. You know where you find that? You find that in these tin cans. Canned food. This has got mercury in it again. It's preserved by mercury. Yes. Read. Cantharides. Col col colchicine. Powerful anticoagulants. Powerful anticoagulants. So the brothers were explaining to me the co a co a, a, a coagul regarding anticoagulant, right? Yes, sir. It's, it's a blood thinner. It's a blood thinner. You take it, it's like taking dyspnea, right? It thins your blood. So taking high volumes of it, it can actually you can bleed to death. Read. Powerful anticoagulants such as brodifacom, penicillin, trainis. That's that's penicillin. Pen, penicillin. That's penicillin right there. It's written in the SDC, so you don't pronounce it even. Read it. That's penicillin right there. Go ahead. Strike nine, paraquat, knockout drops, digoxin, among others, mm. and paraxone and other poisons. Three. Really? Other plans referred in the UN report included crowd control with pheromones. You see that they were controlling crowds with pheromones. A pheromone pair is a nerve agent. You understand? Pheromones. Pheromone is a nerve agent. Go ahead. And discussion of the development of several novel compounds, including a locally produced variant of benzene. You see that? A locally produced variant of benzene, which our people were what? Addicted to. Go ahead. Novel derivatives of CR agents, uh -huh. including a compound which, which had a py pyridine moiety in place of one of the benzene rings and caused severe blisters on the skin you see that so these 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 nerve agents these chemicals that they were creating you understand some of them were, were causing uh, skin blisters and so forth go ahead a new and more potent analog of methacolone and a dimeth dimethylketone amphetamine Derivative of MDMA. MD. So that do you see when it says derivative of MDMA? You know what that means? Derivative of MDMA? That's nyaupe. <sighs> derivative of MDMA, that's ecstasy, right? Cocaine, cocaine. Read. Another unusual project attempted to develop a method of sterilizing crowd. Stop right there. I want you to stop right there. So what was happening during the apartheid regime when they were shooting our forefathers and foremothers with tear gases and all that, guess what's what in the tear gas? Because they say it was non-lethal. Read that part again. Another unusual project mm. attempted to develop a method of sterilizing crowds. You see, st how did they sterilize the crowd? What does it mean to sterilize the crowd? That means when they shoot that tear gas, it actually sterilizes you, you cannot conceive. So they were sterilizing our brothers and sisters that they cannot have children. That's what South Africa's chemical and biological warfare program was doing. Read. Another unusual project attempted to develop a method of sterilizing crowds. Read. Using a known male sterilant. You see that? A known male sterilant. So they were targeting black men in those crowds because the black men were the one that was rising back. Black man was revolting to say, away with Kaffir guns, away. You understand? We're not going to carry Tom passes when we're working in our own country. We're not going to be doing that. Read. A known male sterilant, pyridine. Pyridine. Pyridine was a, was a male, was a, was a known male sterilant. 
So pyridine, basically, they use pyridine to sterilize our, our fathers. Read. That was to be sprayed unto the crowds. You see that? So they were spraying pyridine to the crowds. Go ahead. From a gas cylinder. From a gas cylinder, read. Pressurized with nitrogen gas. Mm. Since pyridine is highly, is highly flammable. Watch this. A subsequent industrial accident caused the death of a gas company employee when the experimental contaminated medical oxygen cylinder had been returned to the gas supplier and filled with oxygen that exploded. Now read the next part. It says employment. Watch this. Employment. Uh -huh. In 1985, mm. four Swapo detainees... Swapo. Swapo was a, was a black movement that was rising in Namibia. You understand? The same way you've got the black consciousness movement, you've got the PAC with um, Robert Sobuko and so forth. Yes, yeah, Swapo was one such organization rising up against the white apartheid regime. Read. For Swapo detainees held at the reconnaissance regiment headquarters were allegedly given a sleeping drug in soft drinks. You see what they did? They poisoned many of our brothers in Namibia that was rising up against apartheid over there in Namibia by the Germans. So you had the Hereros rising up against the Germans over there in Namibia. Read. Taken to Lanseria Airport outside Johannesburg. So they were taken to Lanseria Airport outside Joburg. And injected with three toxic substances mm. supplied by Basson. You see that voter Basson? Watch this. Their bodies were thrown into the At At Atlantic Ocean. You see that? There were bodies were thrown in the Atlantic Ocean. The same Atlantic Ocean that they were using to transport our brothers and sisters across to the Americas. Not only that, but they were throwing the bodies or the dead bodies of our brothers and sisters over the ship to be eaten by sharks. These are the same demons that we are talking about, we are reading about here. Keep reading. The civil cooperation Borea operative Petrus Jacobus Buetas. Mm, that's a that's a Afrikaner. That's a demon. Go ahead. Who claimed to have also directed Borea operations? The bureau, bureau, uh, the bureau operation operations in Mozambique mm -hmm. and Swaziland. They were in Mozambique and Swaziland. Go ahead. Asserted that he was ordered in May nine, 1989 to contaminate the water supply of. Dobra, a refuge camp in Namibia. You see that? They were poisoning the water supply. What do you think they are doing now? You think that has stopped? That has not stopped. That's why they don't want us to create boreholes. Ne? That's why they don't want us to drill boreholes. But one thing that I'm really happy about is that our people, our mothers and fathers in Limpopo, they say to hell with the government. We're going to we're gonna bore, we're going to drill boreholes we're going to get our own water, we're going to get our own machines, and we're going to pump water into our own tanks. So they have wells. The same way Jacob had a well, Isaac, our forefather, had a well, our forefather Abraham had wells and water and aquifers. Hezekiah was able to open the, 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 the pathway to get the Nile River into, the, into Jerusalem. Heavy stuff. You understand? Because they understood that we are surrounded by our enemies, and they are poisoning the water. Read. With cholera and yellow fever organisms. Read. A South African army doctor provided them to him. Mm. In late August 1989, Read. he led an attempt to contaminate the water supply. You see that? Read. But it failed because of the high chlorine content in the treated water at the camp. Now read the next, the next part now. Component of racial warfare. Watch this. Listen up. Component of racial warfare. Com component component of racial warfare. Watch this. Research on birth control methods. Stop right there. You see, we just read pyridine was a ma was a known male sterilant to sterilize black men in what in riots. Here now we're going into birth control methods now. You see, the white man was very busy during those days. He's still busy today. He's worse now. Read. Research on birth control methods to reduce the black, the black birth rate was one such area. You stop right there. 
So this birth control method, now you go even to the clinics that are owned by black people. What do you find when you walk in? Birth control, plant parenting. They show you different methods on how to do prevention. Yeah. So who are they following? Their father, the devil. Oh, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we apologize. Again, I blame the IT team, not in the spirit, but they are getting their minds right. Okay, so Linnea, I need you to read uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. Okay, come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Read. Prophesied both against many countries. Read. And against great kingdoms uh -huh. of war and of evil. Of war, of evil, come on. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. Pestilence. That's what we're dealing with. The pestilences that was created by the South Africa Chemical and Biological Warfare Program called Project Coast. We're going over there. So, so-called South Africans, pay attention. This is your history. What the white people did over here when they conquered you, they, they waged war against you. They are still waging war against you until this day. Biochemical and biological warfare. Understand that. Uh, Revelation 6 now, verse 8. Let's go there. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked, and behold, mm -hmm. a pale horse, Ray. and his name that sat on him was death, Ray. and hell followed with him. Was death, and hell followed him, Ray. and power was given unto them over the first part of the earth. That's the Americas. That's why when they go to the Americas, what do they do? They poison the Native American Indians, the tribe of Gad with smallpox. You understand? Go ahead. To kill with sword. To kill with sword, read. And with hunger. With hunger, famine. And with death. With death, using what? Using these um, toxins that they create during these chemical and biological warfare programs that they set up, read. And with beasts of the earth. We're going to deal with that later on, the beasts of the earth. Now, watch this. We read in the article on Wikipedia regarding the Project Coast. Okay, read that part now. Employment. In 1985, read that. Employment. In 1985, four SWAPO detainees held at reconnaissance. SWAPO, SWAPO is, it, is a, is a, it was a black consciousness movement in Namibia. They rose up to go against the, the regime in, in Namibia, particularly the Germans, because they are the ones that conquered them over there. Read. Four SWAPO detainees held at reconnaissance regiment. So our brothers in the SWAPO movement, four of them, what happened to them? Regiment headquarters were allegedly given a sleeping drug. It was not allegedly. They were actually given a sleeping drug. Go ahead. In soft drinks. Mm, in soft drinks. The cool drink. Go ahead. Taken to Lanseria. To, taken to Lanseria Airport. They were, after that, they were taken to Lanseria Airport. Go ahead. Outside Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. And injected with three toxic substances. Supplied by Basson. You see that? So Voder Basson gave them three toxin toxins to inject our brothers. And what did they do to our brothers? Their bodies were thrown in the Atlantic Ocean. See over the air, in the sea. Read. The Civil Cooperation Borea Operative. Bureau op Operative. So there it says the Civil Cooperate Cooperation Bureau Operative, meaning this man was a spy. Read. The Civil Cooperation Bureau Operative, Petros Jacobus Buertes. Yeah, so this Petros Jacob Buertes was a spy. Go ahead. Who claimed to have also directed bureau operations in Mozambique. You see that he was also responsible for what? The destruction through technological advancements in where? Operations in Mozambique. Mozambique against our people over there. Read the Zanj. Read and Swaziland. And Swaziland, Israel, that's scattered over there. Go ahead. Asserted that he was ordered in May 1989. He was ordered to do what? To contaminate the water supply at Dobra. You see that to contaminate the water supply. So the water supply was contaminated back then. It is today. Read a refuge camp in Namibia. With cholera and yellow fever. You see that the same way they created cholera here in South Africa, they created cholera over there in Namibia and Mozambique. Read. With cholera and yellow fever organisms. Ye cholera and, and yellow fever. Read. A South African army doctor provided them to him. Mm. In late August 1989, Read. he led an attempt to contaminate the water supply. 
but it failed because of the high chlorine content in the treated water at the camp. Rain. Component of racial warfare. Component of racial warfare. Let's get into that now. Go ahead. Research on birth control methods. You see that? So the apartheid project caused chemical and biological warfare program. Part of their job was to research birth control methods. Read. To reduce the black birth rate was one such area. You see that? Reducing the black population in South Africa, the Bantus, in Bantu stands, they use birth control methods. The same thing they did back then. Listen, today it's on high alert. They are pushing it nobody's business. Every corner there's a birth control nonsense. That's why you have all these mobile clinics operated by Boom Pabarikima, LTE and all that. Yes, read. Dr. Dan Huesen, mm. the managing director of Rude Blood Research Laboratory. RRL, go ahead. Between 1983 and 1986. Read. Told Tom Mangold of the BBC that Project Coast had supported a project to develop a contraceptive mm. that would have been applied clandestinely to blacks. You see that? So, birth control. So, these birth control pills, these barking the um, the cross because they have a metal cross that they inject in the woman's tubes and all that so she doesn't conceive they call it the cross it's a metal object they inject in there yeah so when you go to these clinics you find a list of contraceptives a list of birth control methods guess what they're all coming from the one project coast read Huesen reported that that the project had developed a vaccine for males and females, mm. and that the researchers were still searching for a, for a means by which it could be delivered. You see that? So they were finding ways on how to deliver these toxins. We understand birth control methods, meaning to sterilize our, our fathers and mothers during the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. They are still doing it today. Right? To make black people sterile. You see that? So Project Coast, one of their objective was to make black people sterile. Isn't that the same thing that Pharaoh was doing during the time of Egypt? Pharaoh did the same thing. That if it's a male child, put them to death. Read. Without them being made away. You see that? Without knowing. So when you go, you inject yourself and say, I want to have sex, but I don't want to fall pregnant. You don't understand or that thing is actually making you sterile. The day you decide to now I want to have kids, you can't. Or now you're starting to have problems with your womb, with your menstrual cycle, so on and so forth. That's what they are doing right here. That's what the project course was about. That's why many of our sisters today, they've got problems in their womb. Project Coast. Keep reading. Testimony given at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission mm -hmm. suggested that Project Coast researchers were also looking into putting birth control substances in water supplies. You see that? Birth control substances in water supplies. You wonder why many of our sisters cannot conceive. It's because of Project Coast. That chemical and biological warfare program. You see, it never ended. The way they're still pushing it, how are they still pushing it? They are pushing it by doing what? They are pushing it by setting up these mobile clinics and clinics in the gases in the communities, you understand? They make it easily accessible. That's because of Project Coast made these things available. Understand that. Okay, is that it on that? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go back. Go back to the to the to the article now. Where we left off. Okay, summary of findings. Is that where we left off? Yes, that's where we went. Yes, sir. Okay, read the title. Summary of findings. We are going over going over this history to show you what the apartheid government did back then and what the, the apartheid is still doing today through what? Through medicine, through the food, you understand? Through water supply, because what? In hunger and in food and in nakedness, they are still kept there. They are, they are using chemicals to poison us. Because I saw a show where a sister was infected by the top that she was wearing. Because the thing, you know when you, are, when, 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 when you wear a top, at the back here, there's a, there's a label. Sometimes it's a, it's a label, I think it's in polyester. They write something on top of it. That thing actually was, was rough. The way they developed the material was rough. It, it kept scratching her back. And then the material in there entered into her skin and it caused the sister to drop dead. 
Now read that. On the basis of the available evidence, the following conclusions can be reached about the South African Chemical and Biological Warfare Program. Now read the next highlighted part. The perception of threat by the apartheid government. They, so they perceived the threat. Our people were unarmed. Read. During the 1970s, mm. combine, combined with the country's strong material base capable of developing and producing armaments. Read. Provided the context, the context within with a chemical and biological warfare program that was deemed necessary to the security of the country. You see that? So they created this chemical and biological, pro, uh, they, came, they created the CBW program because they perceived a threat from our people. Next highlighted part. Watch this. The functions of Project Coast were carried out by three official front companies. Do you see? They were front companies. Now, I want you to read that again. The way they said the project cost was what? The functions of project cost. The, pro the function of project cost, read. Were carried out by three official front companies. So they created three front companies. So today, these front companies, they are, guess what? They are pharmaceutical companies that you can walk in. Mm. Hmm? We all know who they are. The ones that were even telling our people that they've got bad hair. Those are friends, ne? Those are friends. Listen, listen, the program has not ended. It continued in some other way. Give me that in Psalms 94 verse 20. I want you to pay attention here. Don't be losing nothing. Pay close attention and understand what's going on here. Read it. Psalms 94 verse 20. The book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 20. Read Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? So America, that white man, he is the throne of iniquity, the kingdom of sin. Read. Which frameth mischief by a law. You see that? They frame mischief using laws, using front companies. You see that? They set up evil by setting up front companies that disguise themselves as what? Pharmaceutical companies. But their job is to continue Project Coast. Read. Which what? Which frameth mischief by law. They frame mischief by laws. That's what they do. They frame mischief by law. Verse, next verse. Watch this. They gather themselves together uh -huh. against the soul of the righteous. You see that? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous. With the righteous, they gather themselves against us. Go ahead. And condemn the innocent blood. Mm. You see that? That's what they do through these vaccines. Now go back. Read the article again. The function, read. The functions of Project Coast mm. were carried out by three official front companies. Let's see who they are, their names are. Go ahead. Designed to conceal the SADF's involvement. South African National Defense Force. So to conceal them, to hide their involvement in the what? In the killing of black men and black women in South Africa. Read. In CBW research, development and production, other private companies provided services to the project. You see that? Other private companies. You know how many private companies today they are pushing pharmaceuticals? Hmm. Some are disguising themselves as retail companies. You understand? Keep going. Most of these private companies relied upon SADF contracts for their existence. You see that? So they relied on the South African National Defense Force for their existence because they were what? They were military contractors designed to create, they were, they were, they were they given contracts to create chemical and biological warfare programs. And today they have to get those toxins somehow to the masses. How do they do it? They set up these pharmaceutical companies that you find in the malls. Yeah. And when you walk in, there's self-medication service and there's prescriptions. How about that? Keep going. The stated intention of Project Coast was to develop crowd control agents. For you them. see that crowd control agents. So how do they how do they do crowd control today? I bet crowd control is to go about our people in the gas, isn't it? That's crowd control. Crowd control is building malls in the Gazi so you don't have to go out and go to Zanti. 
That's crowd control. Crowd control is we're gonna set up, we're gonna set up nyaupes in the community to drag you. We're gonna create bottle stores in the community to drag you, and we keep you there where you trouble on top of each other while we make money out of you. Because that's what they do. Ray. For domestic use. Domestic use, meaning in the country. And the provision of defensive equipment for use by the SADF. Mm. Delta G Scientific was responsible. Delta G Scientific was one of them. RRL was one of them. Come on. Was responsible for the production of ton quantities of CR. Mm. There is no evidence to suggest that Delta G Scientific produced or stockpiled chemical warfare agents. That's a lie. That's a lie. Now read the next highlighted part. That part right there. Read the top. The Botha regime and total strategy. The Botha regime. That's PW Botha. That demon. That demonic white man. Okay, watch this. The appointed the appointment of P.W. Botha as Minister of Defense in South Africa in 1968. Read. Really? This is the turbulent 60s. Read. Really? Signaled a charge in the understanding of the security situation, both in South Africa and in the Southern African region. The meaning what? Angola. Go ahead. Instead of focusing on, on threats directed at South Africa, mm. both are espoused a broader vision of security. Watch this. Encompassing the East-West global ideological conflict and South, Africans, South Africa's role in it. Three themes predominated in his speeches. Three. Really? That the West was threatened by Soviet ex expansion. expansionism. That South Africa was part of the West. And that the Soviet strategy was to cut Europe off from South Africa's essential raw materials. Okay, that's it on that. Re go to the next highlighted part. That part right there. Watch this. In September 1978, mm -hmm. 10 years after being appointed Minister of Defense, P.W. Botha was elected by the whites only voters as Prime Minister. You see that? White only, white only ministers as what? As Prime Minister. Watch this. He soon elaborated the concept of the total onslaught. The total what? He soon elaborated the concept of the total onslaught. The total onslaught of black people in South Africa through chemical and biological warfare. Read. The 1979 White Paper on Defense recorded increased political, economical, Military pressure on South Africa by us, read and expressed concern that the military threat against the RSA is intensifying at an alarming rate. Mm. The idea of a total onslaught against South Africa as Moscow's stepping stone to world conquest became the, depart the departure point for security related government policy. Okay, next highlighted part. Okay, do you know which page to go to? Yes, there sir. it is. Chemical weapons in South Africa. Okay, prior to uh, Project Coast. Watch this. Read that highlighted part. Chemical weapons in South Africa prior to Project Coast. So there was another chemical and biological warfare program before Project Coast. Read. Project Coast, initiated in 1981. 81. Was not South Africa's first experience of chemical warfare agent production. You see that? Chemical warfare agent production. Come on. The country's involvement dates back to World War II. You see that? 1945. So the country's involvement in chemical and biological warfare program goes back to World War II, 1945. You see, South Africa was involved in the production of uranium, weapons-grade uranium, to the West, giving them enough to be able to build nuclear bombs to bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Go ahead. When the smart government... The, the smart government is Ian Smarts. Read. Agreed to assist Britain in the manufacture of mustard gas. Now jump down to the next highlight part. Watch this. The head of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research mm. applied chemistry... Whoa, 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 whoa. I want you to go... Remember, we just read the definition, but today we use the acronym. 
Now read the definition of that. What did he say? The head. The head of what? Of the council. What? Pay attention of the council. For scientific. Council for scientific. And industrial research. What is it called? In brackets. Come on, come on. CSIR. The CSIR. You see that thing? Today you think the CSIR is so nice, is so clever, and not, you don't understand. You don't understand. They were responsible for what? For pushing the chemical and biological warfare program in South Africa. And the CSIR, guess what? It's still alive and well. It's still operating in full blast. Keep reading. Applied chemistry unit in the 1970s. Mm. Dr. J.P. De Villiers. Eh, De Villiers? Listen, this demon right here, he was he heavily involved in South Africa's chemical warfare programs following Basson, following Huosen. Go ahead. Noted that the one factory was located at Chlorocorp. Chlorocorp. Chlorocorp is here. Next to Jovek. Next to Tembisa. Yeah, Chlorocorp. Go ahead. Near Johannesburg. Uh -huh. And the second was in Fair Groove in the Cape. Really? According to wise men, the question of closing the mustard gas plants in South Africa had been considered in summer of 1944. Mm -hmm. The considering of closing these plants. Watch this. Go ahead. But it had been decided that, th that the trickle production should be maintained until the close of the war in Europe. You see that? So they say we're not going to close it until the war in Europe is finished. But watch this. Go ahead. As an alternative supply mm. for the Far East and Australia in the event of the of the initiate of the initiation of gas war in northwest Europe. He says we're not gonna close it in case there's a what there's a gas war in Europe. We're gonna maintain a supply here. Read by the end of January 1945, however, all available empty weapons and storage facilities in South Africa had been filed and it was agreed that production should cease. It, they agreed that it should cease. Go ahead. And that the plant be put to care and maintenance. Care and maintenance mean don't close it down. Watch this. In July 1945, mm. these plants were closed down. 1945, Pella, that's World War II. But funny enough, CSIR was never closed, was it? It's still operating. The next highlighted part. Watch this. A document titled Current Anti-Riot Chemicals. Anti-Riot Chemicals. Pay attention to this. Read. Written by De Villiers. De Villiers. Go ahead. In September 1976. Read. States that CS was used in South Africa for anti-riot purposes. Mm. And that it was available in pyrotechnic smoke munitions. Pyrotechnic smoke munitions. Read. Grenade and cartridges. Grenades and cartridges. That's how it was av made available. Watch this. Go ahead. And that equipment had been developed for dispersing it in powder form from aircraft. Mm. You see when you, you see when it says in powder form from aircraft. You ever seen in the gases there's an aeroplane that is passing and there's a smoke of gas following it? That's how they poison us. And they are still doing it today, by the way. Keep reading. The documents, the documents state that there were four chemicals mm. which could be considered for use as anti-riot agents. Watch this. Read. Chloraceptophenone, penicillin chloride. That's penicillin. Just say penicillin. That's what it is. Go ahead. And chlorobenzaladine. That's benzene. Go ahead. Malomonatrile CS. Diphenylamine chloracine. And dipezo. Okay, don't read that. Keep reading. These are all standard anti riot agents, but none of them have a calming effect on crowds. Mm. You see that? Now jump down to the next highlighted part. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. I have to go through this. Watch this. You need to know this. Okay. Yes, read that part right there. Read the title. We're still reading from what? From the article 
is a 300 page document. We're not gonna go over three, all 300 pages, okay? But I'm gonna show you the important parts that I wanna show you, particularly with this class. Or the house of the dragon, they kill with what? They kill with death, using what? Toxins, chemical and biological warfare. Read. Project Coast mm -hmm. links with the police and operational units of the military. Watch this. Project Coast was, at least in part, established to address the, P, the PW Botha government's need to suppress internal political opposition. Stop right there. Stop right there. Read that part again. What did they use the CW program for? The CBW program for? Read that. Project Coast was, at least in part... At least in part. No, no. Most of the part of it was created for us particularly. Go ahead. Established to address the PW Botha government's need to suppress internal political opposition. You see that? The chemical and biological warfare program, one of its main objectives under PW Botha was to suppress political opposition. Meaning what? Black people rising. Read. Really? It was essential for the project officer, or more generally, project management, to have a channel of communication with the police who were responsible for suppressing civilian resistance. You see that? Because remember, the police were close to the people on the ground. They were the ones that were moving in the community. They called them the apartheid police. They were the ones that knew who was doing what and where. So whenever black people would rise in the community, guess what they would do? They will, they will also have snitches. They will have snitches to make sure that they report or know this brother right here is doing this. That's why the CNC machine in had to run to where? To the Gulf of Guinea. To meet Miriam Makeba over there. Because he had snitches over here selling him out in the ANC turn on that brother. Keep reading. Basson's personal relationship with the South African police, SAP forensic chief Jen Losa Nithley, was one such channel. Watch this, read. Read the next highlighted part. Yeah, read that. We're gonna read the 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 RRLA, one of the front companies responsible for Project Coast. Go ahead. Rudeplat Research Laboratories. Mm. Rudeplat Research Laboratories was initially established as an animal research and testing facilities. Facility for substance produced at Delta G Scientific. Now I want you to stop right there. Now give me Revelation 6 now. Verse 8 again. We're going to get into this now. I'm going to show you something here. Revelation 6 verse 7 again. Revelation 6 verse 8. Pay close attention. The book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked and behold. A pale horse. Ray. And his name that sat on him was death. His name that sat on him was death. That goes into the with us. The white man. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. The white man. Read. And power was given unto them over the first part of the earth. To do what? To kill with sword. To kill with war. Natural warfare and biological warfare. Go ahead. And with hunger. With famine. Read. And with death. With death. Read. And with the beast of the earth. With the what? And with the beasts of the earth. That part right there when it says, and with the beast of the earth, that's the part I want you to focus on. And with the beast of the earth. So, Rodeport Research Laboratory, they focus on the beast of the earth. How to kill us by using animal DNA to splice it with human DNA to create super viruses to kill us. Now, read that. The article now. Rudeplat Research Laboratory was initially established as an animal research and testing facility. Animal research and testing facility. Because remember, these were front companies for Project Coast. Delta G Force, RRL, and guess what? CSIR. Go ahead. For substances produced at Delta G Scientific. Watch this, read. Its brief later expanded to include research into chemical and more particularly biological warfare agents. You see that? They expanded their animal research into biological warfare agents. So meaning what? Animal research plus chemical and chemical warfare agents mix them together and create super viruses. That's why it says to kill with the beast of the earth. Read. The company 
was started by Dr. Dan Huesen. Stop right there. You see this Huesen guy? Very involved. That's the one. Dr. Huesen is the one that was responsible for creating what? Um, birth control mechanism. You understand? That's what we read in Wikipedia. He was responsible for that. Read. In 1975. And contraceptives. Read. In 1975. Kuasen qualified as a veteran, a veteran, veterinarian. Veterinarian. So he's a vet. So Dr. Huasen was qualified as a vet. But because whenever you think of a vet, you know why actually the thing that I asked you brothers on the road, I'm like, when you think of a vet, what comes to mind? No, dogs. So the business or not dogs. But a vet you take it, you, you vet, you think of if my cat is sick, I'll take it there. But how do you know to say that? The media, television, movies. Because whenever you see a vet, there was a movie called Mali and Me. Mali and Me, yeah. So they, they had this dog, which was crazy dog. Whenever it was sick, they took it to the vet and all that. But they, they, they brainwashing your mind on how to think about a vet. No. The job of a vet, they research animal DNA, they splice animals, they understand how diseases travel through air from animals to humans, they investigate all that. That's the job of a vet. So the part where I'm taking my dog is sick there is cosmetic stuff. The real reason of a vet, we are reading it right now. Read it. Three years later, he obtained an honors degree in clinical pathology. There it is. Clinical pathology. Toxicology. Toxicology to work with toxins, right? And pharmacology. And pharmacology. What is that going into? Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceuticals. Meaning what? Drugs. Yeah. Hey. Pharmacia. You know pharmacol pharmacology? Pharmacia. Abe pharmacia literally means witchcraft. Magic. Because we went over it on the streets, right? Pharmacia. The origin of pharmacology, pharmacia. Yes, that's what he's talking about. Read. And joined the lecturing staff at Pretoria's University's veterinary fo faculty. faculty. Go ahead, watch this. In 1978, mm. he was appointed director of the H.A. Groove Animal Research Center. Watch this. Attached to H. of Ver Fervood. H. F. Fervood. Fervood, the architect of apartheid. So he was connected to what? He says now called what? Hospital now called the Pretoria Academic Hospital. They just renamed them. Is it this? Those companies with Delta G Force, who are, are left, they still exist, but they have been given new names now. Go ahead. Research animals at the center included mice. Uh -huh. Mice. Yes. You see, to kill with the beasts of the air. That's what we're reading here. Dr. Horsen, that was his main research. Read. Hamsters. Uh huh. Beagle dogs. Read. Pigs, mm. primates, uh -huh. chiefly baboons and velvet monkeys. And velvet monkeys. Go ahead. Kuesen said that South Africa was in a was in a particularly fortunate position. Mm. Fortunate. Watch this. In regard to the supply of primates. You see that monkeys and velvet velvet monkeys and baboons. Go ahead. Which were much sought after internationally for research purposes, and in this regard. Various projects were launched jointly with scientists in the USA. Because when it says various projects were launched, they talk about human experimentation. That's what he's talking about. You understand? That human experimentation talks about, it also goes into what? The Tuskegee experiment that was pushed by Bill Gates' father mm -hmm. to inject our people with what? With syphilis in the US. And guess who was responsible for injecting black people with syphilis? The black woman. You cannot make this up. Keep going. In the USA, France, Australia, Close and these Germany. Windows. These windows must be closed. Read that again. In the USA, France, Austria, and Germany. You see that? The US, Austria, and Germany. T-men. T-men always seem to find himself involved in all these scientific advancements to destroy. Read. The staff at the Animal Research Center included microbiologists, mm. one scientist, Dr. Henny Jordan, 
You see that Henny Jordan, go ahead. Conducted research on the use of radioisotopes for medical purposes on behalf of the Atomic Energy Board. Mm, the Atomic Energy Board, go ahead. One of the research projects carried out by the HA Groove Institute on behalf of the SADF dealt with the treatment of trauma. Mm. The research was less. Remember the medical medical apartheid. How did they manage to be able to know how to how the womb of a woman looks like? How baby, how a baby grows in the mother's womb? Three months they're like this. Four months they're like this. Six months they look like that. Seven months they look like that. They had to do that with our fa our mothers that was pregnant. They had to literally open their womb and see how old the baby is and open another one so they take a mother who's pregnant now three months open her up another one who's six months pregnant open her up to see the baby there was no um sedative there was no what is the, the other thing that is called anesthesia there was none of that because they say black people have a they have a, a high tolerance for pain so don't don't inject them with nothing medical apartheid there's a book that was written by this sister, Dr. Joy DeGru, Medical Apartheid. You should read the book. Very, very excellent book. Okay? Read. The research was led by Professor Schlag of Vienna. Extensive research was done on primates regarding trauma treatment with civilian interest. Mm. Being, being in the trauma treatment of... Civilian what? With civilian interest. With civilian interest, meaning the population, black people. Go ahead. Being in the trauma treatment of vehicle accident victims. The next highlighted part. Huesen claims that in 1983, Basson asked him to get him a black mamba. And you, a what? A black mamba. Stop right there. Go back to Revelation 6 verse 8. I want you to understand what John the Revelator is explaining here to us in the spirit of Christ. You understand? Read that for me. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. Was death. And hell followed with him. Read. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. Go ahead. To kill with sword. To kill with sword. And with hunger. And with hunger, thus famine. Read. And with death. Mm hmm and with the beasts of the earth. And with the what? And with the beasts of the earth. And with the beasts of the earth. That's why Dr. Hosen was a vet. So that his job was to what? To kill with the beasts of the earth. Using animals to kill us. Okay? Read the article now. Come on. Hosen claims that in 1983... He's not claiming, he's true. Go ahead. Basson asked him to get him a black mamba and its venom. You see that black mamba and the venom of the black mamba. Go ahead. Huesen claimed that Basson told him they had access to a state enemy mm. who would be offered a few drinks while in a remote setting and would be then injected with the venom. Right? The snake would be killed. They, they kill the snake. They inject him with the venom of the snake. Watch this. Go ahead. And its fangs pressed into the dead man's flesh. So they will press his fangs, meaning the teeth of the snake, into him after he's dead. Read? After the snake is dead. Go ahead. To indicate a to, bite. To, to mean what? To make it seem like he was bitten by a snake. But they injected him with a black mamba's poison. It's venom. Read? The, the death would be recorded as snake bite. You see that? That is some evil stuff. They say, no, people are dying of mosquito bite. No. They are the ones that are injecting our people with them. Read. This was the first indication that the front company, which Huesen was to establish. The what? That the front company. You see, these pharmaceutical companies that you see today called Molong, those are front companies. You understand? Mm. Go ahead. Which Huesen was to establish. RRL mm. would be used to develop assassination weapons. You see that? Mm. So RRL was a front company used to develop assassination weapons. Today, you go to them, it's, it, they've got very nice names. Mm. Uh -huh. Some start with a D, some start with a C. Mm. Very easy to remember names. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
Quercel established the size of a lethal dosage of mamba venom for a baboon. Uh -huh. And before dawn, when remember the, these these are code names: baboons and monkeys. Mm. Those are code names for black people. Go ahead. And before dawn, one morning, he, Bason, and Dr. James Davis, a member of special forces, mm. and thus not considered a security risk. Watch this, read. Injected a baboon with the venom. Mm. Within a minute, the baboon was dead. You cannot make this up. Within a minute, the baboon was dead. Keep going. Huesen gave Bason the rest of the venom mm. and a huge mamba. If Huesen's version is correct, the clandestine manner in the clandestine manner, the clandestine manner in which this incident took place, mm. showed that shows that those involved were aware that they were were aware that what they were doing was both dangerous and illegal. Of course. Go ahead. It set a precedent for future activities at RRL. You see that future activities at RRL. The RRL has different names today. Keep going. A few months later, Philip Mayberg brought the snake, which had been nicknamed Phyllis, mm. back to RRL. He said it had served its purpose and could be destroyed. Some evil stuff, yeah. That's why it says they commune together with one consent to destroy us. What you men and women need to understand, this white man, he is the devil the Bible speaks of. And these are the things that they encourage themselves with. These are the things that they comfort themselves with on a daily basis. I think I was talking to one of Soldier Nehemiah saying, listen, the hospitals ne, is basically is the, is, the, is the place where the white man feels really on top of the world. And where black people feel at the most vulnerable. Because the hospital is the one place where the white man feels with all power and might because we are vulnerable when we walk in there. We trust everything they say. I'm telling you, whatever they tell you, you're going to do it. Because they are the doctors they know best. But we're reading about why they actually study to become doctors, to kill us. They frame mischief by a law. Now read them. In mid-1983, Go ahead. Kuesan was asked to help to help establish a military facility where chemical substances could be tested on animals. Mm. Although originally only an evaluation center for outside products mm. envisaged as coming from Delta G was proposed. This idea expanded to a full biological research and development center. You see that thing? You see, they are, it, listen, it's easy for them to set up these programs. That's why Simon was, was for. That's why these mobile clinics are for. Read. Jan Lawrence skills were called upon to design equipment for the company. In time, this included a, pep, a Perspex restraining chair for primates. You see that? A restraining chair where they strap you and they inject you, they take your blood, they test it, they inject it back to see how you react. Read. A gas chamber which could accommodate the restrained chair. Mm. A filtration system and a primate semen extractor. A help. what? And a what? And a primate semen extractor. A primate semen extractor and what? To be used in virility tests. You see that? Primate. These primates is talking about black people there. That's why it says black people are over sexual. You understand? We irresponsible breeders. That's what Margaret Sanger said. Margaret Sanger. That what we're reading here, guess what? That's why today our uh, they, they want they create things like condoms, they create contraceptives, they create all manner of what sexually transmitted, sexually related products for what? For black people to do all this. Keep going. While Huesen was at H.A. Grove, mm. Huesen and Basson had discussed substances that could be used as biological weapons. Mm. The trauma research conducted at the center had shown that if chlorostridium perfringens was injected into a healthy primate, mm. it would suffer identical symptoms to those of post-traumatic shock. You see that? So they were able to induce post-traumatic shock. 
You go to the hospital and say, I'm depressed. They give you pills to be more depressed. Keep going. Specifically with regards to lung function. Lungs. Remember, Basson was a what? Was a cardiologist. Voter Basson was a cardiologist. The reason the disease, the pandemic that killed people now in 2020, it was where? It was lung related. Ne? Cardiovascular system was your cardio, cardiovascular system was highly uh, affected. If you had a weak immune system, that's it. Go ahead. Within 24 to 36 hours, the primate would develop violent pneumonia, mm. which could lead. Whoa, 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 whoa. So they would inject you with this. It create it what? It induces pneumonia. Keep going. Which could lead to death. Uh. Read. The use of clost clostridium perfringens was, spe was scientifically debated by Huesen and Basson as a biological weapon. Go ahead. A small amount was made by RRL microbiologist, Dr. Mike Odendal. Mm. These are all bures here. The same bures that our people trust when they go to hospital. Tell me, I want a white doctor. Good luck with that. Keep going. Huesen testified that he knew that the company he was to head was intended to develop biological weapons. You see that? So the intents of all these private practices, guess what their job is? To develop biological weapons. Against whom? Israelites. Right. And to do animal tests mm. of chemical substances. RR's work was not confined to biological warfare agents, mm. but included the small-scale synthesis of chemical agents. Okay, read the next highlighted part. We're almost done, we're almost done. But I have to go through this. Watch this. Read that. Huesen has said that he was, he, was, he was party to discussions about chemical and biological assassination. Meaning he was, he was in, the, in the discussions that they have behind closed doors regarding chemical and biological assassinations of black people. Read. That concluded that the ideal substance would be an organophosphate which research had shown to be effectively absorbed through the skin. Mm. DMSO, dimethylene sulfoxide, was selected as the most suitable carrier for the poison. You see that? Go ahead, watch this. Through the skin, they can put it in a lotion. Mm? Yeah, they can put it in your hair product. They can put it in your shampoo. They can put it in your lip balm. Hmm? Lip eyes, lip gloss. Eh? Zambag. Right? Go ahead. Because it was quickly absorbed through the skin. It was quickly absorbed through the skin. Go ahead. In liquid form. In liquid form. Come on. Paraoxon was mm. believed to be... The but that's the one I want to focus on. Paraoxon. Now, I want you to pause here. Go back to Revelation 6, verse 8 again. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. Watch this. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, mm. and his name that sat on him was death. Read. And hell followed with him. Mm. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. And were everywhere else where they, they conquered. Go ahead. To kill with sword. To kill with sword that goes into war. And with hunger. And with hunger, come on. And Meaning, hunger doesn't not only just goes into famine. It goes into food poisoning. You understand? Go ahead. And with death. And with what? And with death. With death. 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 Come on. And with the beasts of the earth. And with the beasts of the earth. The death and the beasts of the earth goes into chemical and biological warfare and using animal DNA and animal venom to create super viruses, toxins, nerve agents. Go ahead. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Go back. Read the article now. Watch this. Paraoxone was mm. believed to be the best organophosphate for the intended purpose. Watch this. Read. It was synthesized from Paratheon. A Paratheon. Read. A potent poison widely used in agriculture. In agriculture, meaning what? The vegetables you buy. 
You see that thing? Go ahead. Which has been responsible for the death of both animals. Animals, read. And humans on farms. Our people that work in those farms. You understand? At the plantation. Master Fanzale's plantation. Master Van Nickerk's plantation. Master Dutois's plantation. Go ahead. According to Huesen, mm. the objective was to develop the ultimate murder weapon. You see that? The ultimate murder weapon. Listen, the white man has a murder spirit. So these hospitals, listen, man. That's why, listen, the minimal, listen, the best way, just keep the commandments, eat healthy, exercise. You understand? We're not saying you're not going to end up going to the hospital, but you must limit the amount of time you go over there. You understand? Okay, come on. A lethal poison mm. that could not be traced during an autopsy. You see that? Meaning, they say, what was the cause of death? It's unknown. We don't know. Read. Or, if traced, could not be traced back to RRL or the military. Mm. Go ahead. Some RRL research reports appear to support Huesen's claim mm. that RRL was single-minded in this objective. Watch this. The reports demonstrate an obsession with finding substances that would be impossible to trace post-mortem. You see that? So they would develop chemical agents to make sure that they don't even figure out what happened to you. Remember the president of Venezuela? What was his name? Mm. Ah, I forgot now. He was actually the friend of. Um, I was watching the documentary man recently. He was actually the friend of Fidel Castro. They were friends. They were actually good friends with Fidel Castro. Chavez, Chavez, Chavez. Actually, he owned he owned um, oil companies, right? Petroleum and all that. He wanted to help black people to supply black people with cheap oil and, and petroleum and all. Guess what? He had a brain aneurysm. And he dropped dead. Yep. Chavez. The president of Venezuela who told George W. Bush to his face and says, you the devil. You the devil. The devil just spoke. That's the devil. Okay. That's what he said. He says, I smell sulfur. Hmm. The devil. <laughs> Read the word you got. A report headed. Eh. Product information about botal botalinum toxin informs the reader that the toxin is soluble in tap water. You see that? You're not going to see it. They put it in tap water. You don't see nothing. Read. Damn water. Mm. Milk. Yeah. Beer. Beer. Milk. Beer. And wine. And wine. And warns that mixing the toxin with strongly alcoholic substances. You see the strongly alcoholic substances. You understand? Strong drinks. Go ahead. Such as whiskey. Whiskey. Johnny Walker. Go ahead. And gin. And gin. Should be avoided. Mm. Research done into INO4 antibiotics showed that RML was investigating the substances for clodenstein use because of the advantage because the advantage is that if it can cause acute or subacute heart failure. Heart failure meaning paro what what is it called? Paro paroxin, right? Yes, paroxin. It causes heart failure. Go ahead. The alinopore will not be traceable. Read. Over overdoses of antibiotics were also investigated. You see that overdoses of antibiotics. That's why when you get to the hospital, some kind of infection, they say, throw antibiotics at him. Okay, read. Were also investigated through animal experiments. Mm. Come on. Overdoses of the veterinary antibiotic monenthine monen, was known to attack the heart muscles of raminates. A horse used in an RRL experiment had nearly died of heart Failure. You see that heart failure. That's why when you notice that says in the movies, but you see the toxins we just injected you with, it it it's gonna it's gonna what? It can actually make your heart explode. That's what they say. Read really? these findings according to the report 
had led RRL to investigate the possibility of using the drugs for COVID operations against human beings. Mm. To this end, these human beings is talking about Israelites. Go ahead. To this end, mm. tests had been done on baboons. Baboons is talking about black people. Go ahead. When mixed with alcohol and administered intravenously, the antibiotics killed baboons within six hours. You see that? Listen. It, it, listen, um, uh, South Africa's chemical and biological warfare program, many of our people died. Many of our people dropped dead. Go ahead. No damage to the heart muscle could be found during autopsy. Really? And the substance was undetectable mm. in, in the post-mortem toxicology results. Go ahead. Work done at RRL for Delta G included a study of the toxicity of penny. Penny, penicillin. That's penicillin. 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 Go ahead. Little is known of this substance. Dr. James Davis mm. and Dr. Andre Emelman, who were responsible for most of the military work for RRL, conducted tests on rats to determine the toxicity of the substance. You see that? When it says rats, because that's what they call us. They call us rats, they call us ants. They call us baboons. They call us all kinds of jigaboo names. Go ahead. 25 rats were used in the experiments in groups of five. Mm. Each group was... Different. Remember, the reason why you see the Bantu stand set up the way that they are set up is because of what? It's because of that rat experiment. You put the rats in, in, in a crowd. You close them up. First, they are getting along. After a while, they get irritated. They start biting each other. That's, the, that's what the Bantu stands were set up. Go ahead. Each group was given different doses. Mm -hmm. The experiment was unsuccessful because although many of the rats died, the rats in different groups died in no particular pattern. Really? Tests were conducted on three baboons with penicillin. The RRL report notes that all the baboons suffered muscle spasms mm. and disorientation after five minutes. Remember, remember those um, tear gases that they will spray and shoot towards us? It says they cause delirium. Right? After 12 minutes, mm. they still showed signs of muscle spasms along with difficulty breathing. You see that? Go ahead. All died from suffocation within 15 minutes. Mm. Further research showed that the substance was not stable in solution. Watch this. Go ahead. Throughout 1987, Davis and Emelman sought to determine the LD50 toxicity of the substance. Okay, jump down to the next highlighted part. That's the part I want to deal with. Come on. Huesen recalled how during an informal discussion about organophosphate, there was some discussion about how effective they would be in assassinations. You see that? So, remember, you had assassinations of political leaders that was rising up in the country. Not only that, but you had crowds of our people that were following those political leaders that were rioting, they were doing toy, and they were what? They were shooting tear gases at them and launching nuclear and biological nerve agents at them. Watch this. Go ahead. African National Congress leaders. That's the ANC. The leaders of the ANC. What happened? And communists mm. were mentioned. Kill communists that goes into PAC. Bukis Hani. Robert Sobukwe. Go ahead. Were mentioned as suitable targets for elimination. You see that? So they were creating these chemical agents to target who? The leaders of these political parties. So what do you think will happen today? Who do you think they're going to target today? The leaders of the Israelites. That's why you men need to study. We are at war. I need to understand that. They're going to use brothers in this truth, Judas's. They're going to use also who? Prophetess Noah Dias up in here. Understand that. Keep going. There were some talk about how hard, for example, it would be to get to South African Communist Party leader Joe Slovo. Stop right there. Remember Joe Slovo? That was put to death. <laughs> Keep going. Look him up. And what, really? and what substances could be used if an, if an assassin had only one minute mm. in which to use it. Watch this. Go ahead. Nelson Mandela was too. Nelson Mandela too was discussed. Mm. If he could somehow get cancer before being released from prison. You see that? <laughs> if he could get what? 
if he could somehow get cancer before being released from prison. So that's letting you know when somebody says I've got cancer, no, they gave it to you. That's what they are telling you right here. They say, no, they died of cancer. No, he was infected with cancer. So they wanted to assassinate Nelson Mandela with cancer before he was released from prison. Okay? That means there's some things that was done for him not to be assassinated with cancer before he left prison. That's why he left our foremother, Winnie Mandela. They forced him and said, listen, you need, you need to stay away from that woman. Because she was causing havoc. Okay, go ahead. His release would present less of a political problem. Mm. Mike Odendow recalled being asked for salmonella by Andre Emelman to be told that it would be used to poison ANC members at a meeting which, had thought, which he thought was in Soweto. You see that? So, salmonella, Pele, you, where do you find salmonella? In meat. Salmonella. Because they know black people love to bry. You see that? She's a nyam. And where do we buy this meat from? We buy them from all these Edomites that are what? That have got um, farms with all manner of beasts. They can just inject the cow with salmonella. When you buy it, and then you, the people get infected in the community. Keep going. Odendal had subsequently heard subsequently that, that the ANC members had become very ill. You see that? They become very ill. So they got sick. Keep going. But had not died. Mm -hmm. Such people were considered legitimate targets by the scientists. You see, by the what? By the scientists. The Smiths. The Smiths. The scientists. Watch this now. Pay close attention. The, the synthesis of paroxone was an ongoing... You see, paroxone, that nerve agent right there, that toxin right there, they say, don't sleep on this. Pay close attention on paroxone. Read it. The synthesis of paroxone mm -hmm. was an ongoing project and there was always plenty available. You see that? There was plenty available of paroxone. Keep reading. RRL synthesized paroxone because it was reasonably easy to make and required a fatal dose of only one milligram per per kilogram of body weight you see that <laughs> how the hell does he know these measurements the devil told him keep reading it was quickly it was quickly absorbed that means they had to do experimentation to see it read if detected post-mortem Death could always be attributed to the common agricultural organophosphate paratheon. Paratheon. Read on. Research into paroxone also offered an ideal cover for establishing the laboratory in which research would be done on the NEP agent serine. Serine. Serine gas. Very, very dangerous gas. Go ahead. Taban and VX. Mm. Since the same stringent standards applied. Read. Imalman believed the Paratheon research could result in a new way of treating people with organophosphate. Watch this. Organophosphate poisoning and a biochemistry project was registered for this purpose. You see that? So, whenever they came up with an idea to kill, they say, let's register a company for this. Register a company, register a company. Today, it's going to be quite obvious to see, okay, that's a research laboratory. No, no, no. Let's put it in the malls. Give it a nice name so people come in. They don't see. Because remember, when you go to these pharmaceuticals that you find in the malls, when you walk in, there's other things that are sold there. Hair products. You understand? Food, drink. And then right at the back is the pharmaceutical stuff. You see that? That's a front. And it's, letting, it's, easy, it's even a front because... When you walk in, you don't see the pills business. You only see the pills business right at the back. They sit there right at the back. In the front is oily, is nuts, is this, is that. Right at the back, that's where you find the cues for pickup, the cues for self-medication, and the cues for, the cues for what? prescription. Go ahead. Paroxone was added to lip balm. Stop. Lip gloss. 
Read it again, read it again. Paroxone was added to lip balm. Why do you think our sisters were so obsessed with lip gloss? Mm -hmm. There was something in there, ne? Paroxone. Read. Shampoo. Shampoo. Go ahead. And roll on deodorant. You cannot make this up. Shampoo and roll on deodorant. Listen, brothers, you need to know what it says. The things, that, the things that are done in secret in the darkness, you have to declare them in the housetops. That's what we're doing. Read. But not produced as an aerosol because RRL did not have the facility for this. But you have companies now that have the facilities to produce aerosol. What is aerosol? What is aerosol? Is the spray, ne? The spray, right? So companies that are producing these sprays, kibu man, kibu nivia, ne? Yes, sir. Uh kibu shield. What's the other ones? X. You understand? So that's what's going on. They are the ones that are producing. RRL didn't do that, but you have companies that are doing that. Keep going. Popas Nevin Hazen was involved in the toiletries project. Stop right there. The toiletries project. So when he said, no, I need to buy toiletries. You was responsible for this project. <laughs> Read that part again. Kovas. Mm. Kovas Nevin Hazen. Kovas Nevin Hazen was responsible for the toiletries project. Go ahead. Was involved in the toiletries project. Read. While Klaus Sauter, his predecessor as head of the chemical department, mm. carried out research on paroxone mixed with tobacco stop cigarettes go ahead paroxone a thin oily substance in its natural form mm. also mixed easily with alcoholic beverages you see that that's why there's bottle stores at every corner in, in the gases why paroxone read sota was also instructed to test the stability of paroxone in water water go ahead cooking oil cooking oil and petroleum jelly. Vaseline. Mm. Go ahead. He found that when heated, paroxone remained potent in water. Mm. Go ahead. It did not mix well with cooking oil. So they didn't pursue that, right? And Vaseline. Uh -huh. Results of his experiments on paroxone mixed with alcohol, specifically whiskey and gin, mm. were given to Dr. James Davis and the Austrian researcher. Austrian, but that's Germany. Go ahead. Timen. Timen is always involved in this stuff. Go ahead. Dr. Schroeder, who was based at RRL doing research into organophosphates used in the farming industry. Mm. Vegetables and fruits. Is that it on that? I think that's it on that. Okay, that's it. No, no, it's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Let's finish up. We're almost done. According to Bothma and Theron, mm -hmm. the next day they left for Dugudu, a remote SADF training camp in Kwazulu Natal. Really? In, in Theron's vehicle, somewhere outside Pretoria, they were met by men with a minibus. A man, man with minibus. Listen to this now. Watch this. Come on. Three young black men in their 20s were being held in the bus. Mm. Theron told Bothma to sedate them. Meaning sedate these three young black men. Watch this. Having been told by Basson to use metazolam, a sedative sold commercially as Domica, mm. Bothma injected the substance into cans of cold drink given to him by Theron. Mm. The three victims bound Stop, him. stop. The what? The three victims. The what? The three victims. So what is that letting you know? They're going to drop dead. Go ahead. Bound hand and foot. They are not dead yet, but they are already calling them what? Victims. Mm. Read. Drank the cold drink and fell asleep. Mm. Meaning what? He dropped dead. They dropped dead. Now, Revelation 6, verse 8. One more again. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. Watch this. And I looked and behold, mm. a pale horse. Go ahead. And his name that sat on him was death. Read. And hell followed with him. Come on. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. The fourth part of the earth, the Americas. Come on. 
to kill with sword mm -hmm. and with hunger Ray. and with death and with what and with death and with what and with death i'm gonna go into that and with death now read that i'm gonna show you the chemical agents that are being used here we read the beasts of the earth we also touched on the chemical agents that are used let's get more specific read them Aldicap is a pesticide. Uh -huh. Its white crystals have a slightly sulfurous odor. It odor, is, odor, meaning the way it smells. Come on. Odor. It is toxic. The probable oral lethal dose for humans is less than 5 milligrams per kilogram. Mm. Go ahead. 1 15th of a teaspoon for a 70 kilogram person. How did they know that? One fifteenth of a what? One fifteenth of a teaspoon for a seventy kilogram person. Seventy someone who's weighing seventy kg. Go ahead. It is poisonous by ingestion and skin contact. Mm. Death is caused by muscle weakness, accumulation of fluids in the lungs. You see that because Basson is a cardiologist. Read. Respiratory and heart failure. You see that? Respiratory and heart failure. Come on. Epileptic fits and coma. Because me, when I was growing up, even in high school, many of our people, like, they used to have the fits. There was a period in, 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 in when we were growing up in high school where they say, no, he's epileptic. Yes, sir. And you see that they just move up, they stand up, they, they walk around, it, all of a sudden they just fall on the ground. They start having, they start having fits. That's what we're reading here. I remember that. High school and primary. I used to see that thing a lot. Read. RRL offered Aldicap dissolved in orange juice. Mm, what? <laughs> Man, you need to understand what we're dealing with here. The devil. Go ahead. RRL offered Aldicap Dissolved in orange juice. Next, next part of next, next, next chemical. Watch this. The mamba. The mamba to kill with the beast of the earth. Read. Is a dangerously venomous snake. Mm -hmm. The venom is a neurotoxin. Prodromal symptoms of neurotoxicity, including drowsiness. Because remember, Pape, um, what was his name? Hosen. He studied clinical tox or toxo toxology, right? Read. Including drowsiness, mm. vomiting, mm. hypersalvation, salivation, increased sweating, trembling, skeletal muscle fasciculation, sycamoral sensation of pins and needles may appear within five to ten minutes. Yes, yes, man. So the white man he actually he goes and investigates these animals. And, re and what? And extract the venom and test how deadly this thing is. Because even on Netflix, there's a, and I don't think, is it Netflix or Amazon Prime? There's a show where they say the world's most dangerous venomous snake. How do, you've seen it, ne? I've seen that. Sometimes I watch that. And we, we see the white men like, how in the hell you find them in the Amazon, deep in the Amazon, investigating these things? Really? Come on. Most specific and classical neurotoxic symptoms and signs which may develop within 30 to 120 minutes mm. include blurred speech and difficulty in swallowing, mm. progressive respiratory muscle paralysis. Mm, 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 mm. Next part. Let's get the next toxin. Stop right there. Paroxone. Is it don't sleep on this thing? Eh? That thing is dangerous, man. It's in everything, even in the milk. Keep reading. Paraoxone is an or or organophosphate pesticide. It is a potent nerve poison, mm. which is poisonous by ingestion, Read. by mucous membrane as well as skin contact. Mm. Probable, but just by hugging someone, you can get infected. Read. Probable oral lethal dose for humans may be as low as one fifth of a teaspoon for a seventy kilogram person. One fifth of a teaspoon. That's like it. So it's one fiftieth. One fiftieth. One fifth, not fifteen. Fiftieth. Man, keep going. 
One drop in the eye may be fatal. Death is caused by muscle weakness, accumulation of fluids in the lungs, mm -hmm. respiratory and heart failure. This is similar to the Rona. Go ahead. Epilep epileptic fits mm. and coma. 10 doses of 2 milli milliliters, far more than what is needed to kill one adult, Jesus, were made available by Emelman. Emelman. Emelman is a white Edomite. He's an, he's an Edomite. Go ahead. The next highlighted part. Watch this. Salmonella. Just read Salmonella and read the, the, the explanations. Salmonella uh -huh. are pathogenic microorganisms which can cause various diseases states. Watch this. E.g. food poisoning. Food poisoning. So whenever you find yourself having food poisoning, Salmonella. Go ahead. And typhoid fever. Because me, I experienced that. We bought pizza from Romans. Man, I thought I was dying. I thought I was going to drop dead. I, was, I couldn't feel my joints. I couldn't feel my legs. Listen, man. I think I was with you, right? No, 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 no. When we were, the next day, the next day you came, we were, yeah, we remember. Listen, that was crazy. Salmonella. Chemical and biological warfare program in the food we eat. Read. Salmonella. Because I asked myself, what type of a pizza is this? What was in that pizza? I mean, I couldn't feel my... Uh, listen. Yo. The headache. It was terrible, man. Yo. Read. Salmonella type femurium patients usually present with vomiting. Mm. Because vomiting could... I couldn't stop vomiting. Read. Severe watery diarrhea. Uh-huh. Colicky stomach pains. Uh-huh. Keep going. Blood in the stools. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> Duration varies from one to two days to weeks or longer. It was two days. Two days. Yo, it felt like a lifetime, man. Read. RRM offered three bottles of deodorant contaminated with this pathogen. Ah, come on, man. Read. Salmonella typhi is the cause of typhoid fever. Mm. The incubation period, 3 to 25 days, related directly to the number of organisms ingested. Mm, mm, mm. So it's not one. You're ingesting multiple organisms which are going to do whatever it is that they were designed to do in your system. Read. Typhoid fever is a generally infection-causing fever. Mm. Headache, mm. chills, Backache yeah. and nosebleeds. You see that? Go ahead. Stomach pains dominate. Heart rate slows down and diarrhea occurs late. Mm, 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 mm. Is that it on that? No, sir. Go ahead. Delirium and confusion are common. You see that? Delirium and confusion. Come on. Complications include bleeding from the bowels. Mm. Bowel perforation is the most frequent fake fatal complication. Okay, next highlighted part. Here's, a, here's, a, here's an interesting one. Watch this. Vitamin D. What? Vitamin D. What? Vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Multivitamins. Ne? <laughs> <laughs> D multivitamins. Read. Colecalciferol is one of the fat soluble vitamins and is used as rodenticide. It is a white, odorless, crystalline salt. Mm. Daily ingestions in excess of 2,000 international, international units in children or 1.88 1. 1. Yeah. milligrams in adults may produce toxic symptoms within weeks or months. Watch this. Go ahead. Meaning killing me, kill me slow, killing me softly with this song. <laughs> Go ahead. Most of the most of the acute toxic effects of vitamin D overdose are due to a rise in blood calcium. Mm. In acute overdose, patients may present with nausea, vomiting, mm. diarrhea, mm. headache, mm. itching, weakness, peripheral nerve damage. Yo, yo, go ahead. 
Depression. Depression. Go ahead. Confusion. Confusion. Heart rhythm disturbances. Mm. And myocardial infarction. You cannot make this up. Go ahead. Four grams are offered by RRL. Mm. I think that, okay, quick, okay, that's the next one. No, no, go up, go up, go up, 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 up. There, there, that one. This is benzene. The number one drug that was in, in, in our people were uh, addicted to today, benzene is replaced by nyaube. Go ahead. Benzene. Benzene is an incapa incapacitating agent. Approximately 30 minutes after exposure to benzene aerosol, symptoms appear, mm. such as disorientation Ray? with visual and auditory hallucinations. Mm. The symptoms peak in four to eight hours and may take up to four days to pass. Yo. Other symptoms can include distended pupils, dry mouth, increased body temperature. Stop right there. That's the symptoms of Nyaupe. Mm -hmm. These are the symptoms of Nyaupe right here. Go ahead. The action of benzene on the central and peripheral nervous systems resembles that of atropine. Like, like atropine, benzene binds to mascarinic acet acetylcholine receptors. RRL my microbiologist Adrian Botha told the authors that he worked with the additional following organisms, mm. which were part of the RRL culture collection Ray? maintained by Odendal and Botha. Watch this. Is that it on there? Yes, sir. Okay, that's it. That's it on that. Revelation 6 verse 8 again. So you understand what this verse is saying. Read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. Go ahead. And I looked, and behold, mm. a pale horse. Read. And his name that sat on him was death. Go ahead. And hell followed with him. Read. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. Read. To kill with sword. To kill with sword. And with hunger. And with hunger. And with death. And with death. And with the beast of the earth. We went over there. Death and the beast of the earth. Chemical and biological warfare program by the South African government, the apartheid. Guess what? It's still taking place today. Nyaupe. Where do you think Nyaupe come from? Nyaupe is what? Nyaupe is the same chemical warfare program and to toxins that were developed by Prejo Coast. Black men don't make that. But our people are infected and they're addicted to that thing. And it's the worst thing. Because you find that they're, they're just standing. He doesn't fall and he's not standing straight. Demon, that's some serious demonic activity. You understand? Now, what you want to understand, take away from this is we went over war, we went over science, we went over pestilence. You understand? That's what you find in the house of the dragon and deceit and evil because they worship Satan. Now, watch this. Give me the book of Revelation now. No, no, not Revelation. Yeah, give me Revelation 12 now. Watch this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 15. I'm going to show you something here. The book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 15. Go ahead. And the serpent, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. The serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. So what is this going into? This is going into what? Is doing, going into the philosophies and doctrines that are pushed by the white man. Christianity is one of them. Okay? Read. After the woman. After the woman. The woman is Israel. That's us. Read. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. You see that their objective is to carry us away with their flood. What is the flood? Philosophies. Give me that in Ephesians 4.14. Before you get Ephesians 4.14, get Hebrews 13 verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. To cause it to be carried away of the flood or carried about. Read that. The book of Hebrews. Verse 9. Verse 9. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 9. Come on. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. That's the objective. Their objective is to carry us away with diverse and strange doctrines to defile us. Go back. Give me Ephesians 4.14 now. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 14. Read. That we, henceforth, 
Be no more children. Be no more children. We must not be children. The Bible is designed. The Bible is the weapon of war. The Bible is going to help you to, to move from a boy into a man, a girl into a woman. That is the job of the Bible. Okay, go ahead. Tossed to and fro. So, so that you're not tossed to and fro. When you're not in this Bible, you are going to be tossed to and fro. Our people are tossed to and fro because they're not in this Bible. They don't understand the war that the, the dragon is waging against us. They don't understand the science that the dragon is waging against us. They don't understand the pestilence that, they are, that, that our people are suffering and dying from. It's because we, the dragon is waging war against us. Not only that, but the dragon is waging war against our spirits, our minds, and our souls. Read. Right? And get it about with every wind of doctrine. You see that every wind of doctrine, philosophies, come on. By the slight of men. By the trickery of the white man. Read. Right? And cunning craftiness. Uh -huh. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Because they encourage themselves. They what? They comfort themselves in deceiving us and putting us to death and poisoning us. That's what we went over. Okay. Now, go back to Revelation 12, verse 15 again. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. Go ahead. And the serpent cast out of his mouth. The serpent we know is the white man. Jump up to verse 9 so we know who is making reference to. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 9. No, no, we read, read verse 3. Then we're going to read 3 and 9. Come on. Verse 3. Read. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Mm -hmm. And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon. Red dragon. Go ahead. Having, which, is, which is the metaphor for the white man in Genesis 25, 25. Go ahead. Having seven heads and ten horns. Seven heads and ten horns. Seven empires of this white man. Ten horns is the EU. Go ahead. And seven crowns upon his head. Their rulership. Verse 9. Come on. And the great dragon was cast out. That great dragon is going to be cast out. Not yet, but his, his time is coming. Come on. That old serpent. Mm-hmm. Called the devil, the deceiver, and Satan, an opposer, which deceives the whole world. He deceives the whole world. Jump down to verse 15 now. Verse 15. Go ahead. And the serpent cast out of his mouth mm -hmm. water as a flood. Water as a flood, meaning doctrines through the media, Christianity, and democracy. Come on. After the woman. Mm -hmm. After Israel. Read. That he might cause it to be carried away of the flood. To be carried away of the doctrines. Go ahead. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Verse 17. Verse 17. Go ahead. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon, the white man, is going to be angry with us. And not only going to, he is already angry with us because we are waking up. Right? Which keep the commandments of God. You see the only time when the white man is angry with us? The only time when the white man is angry with us is because we keep God's commandments. Right? The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17. Read. And the dragon was wroth with the woman mm -hmm. and went to make war with the remnant of the seed. You see that? To make war with the saints and to overcome them. Go ahead. Which keep the commandments of God. Which do what? Which keep the commandments of God. They keep God's commandments. Read. And have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Because we have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Jump up to verse 16. Verse 16. Uh -huh. And the earth. Helped the woman. The earth is this Bible. First and foremost, the earth helped the woman. Psalms 85 verse 11. He says, and the earth helped the woman. The book of Psalms chapter 85 verse 11. Read. Right? Truth shall spring out of the earth. Truth shall what? Truth shall spring out of the earth. You see that truth shall spring out of the earth. The earth is this Bible. So go back. Revelation 12 verse 16 again. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 16. Read. And the earth helped the woman. The Bible helped the woman. Read. And the earth opened her mouth. And the earth opened her mouth by the prophets reading it. Read. And swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Because the, this Bible is going to swallow up all the lies that this white man is pushing throughout the earth, especially towards us. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Now watch this. And this is how we're going to overcome. The earth is going to help us to overcome. Verse 11. Now watch this. Verse 11. Read. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They did what? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The only way we're going to overcome the house of the dragon, brothers and sisters, is by the blood of the Lamb. 
Christ's blood is the only way we're going to overcome. The same way we overcame during the time when the Egyptians were being put to death, their firstborns, we had the blood on the doorpost. Likewise, this day, because Christ has died for us, we're going to overcome. The death angel will not touch us. The evil man will not touch us. The violent man will not touch us. He's going to try, but he not, he's not going to succeed. Verse 11 again. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11. Read. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Read. And by the word of their testimony. Read. And they loved not their lives unto death. They, they didn't love their lives unto death. Meaning what? They were willing to let go of their lives to follow Christ. So you have to be willing to let go of your needs and wants of the world and follow the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. That's why I said they love not their lives unto death. Meaning you're not willing to live in sin so you can be put to death and not follow Christ. But you are willing to let go and deny yourself of the, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life to follow the Messiah. That's what he's saying right there. Make sense? Yes, Read again verse 11. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Read. And by the word of their testimony. Come on. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. You see that? So Christ is our help. Our Lord and Savior, his blood is going to uh, help us to overcome this white man. This house, this dragon. The Lord says he's gonna, oh, we're going to overcome him by his blood. Not by politics, not by our might, not by nothing. But by his blood. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Oh, praise to the Lord. I'm going to end the class right there. Oh, praise to the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand. Yes. Oh, praise to the Most High. Let's break bread. Let's break bread in the Lord, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Let's break bread. All right.